Buck Rogers. Okay, sure. Uh, no more, no more Top Gun, huh? Okay, I, I've got to go pee. That is, oh, this is Sprite. Hi, Sam. Hi. Hi, Kai. So Tony the carrot is gonna come get you and soon cleaned up in this stuff here, okay? Can we get that thing off? Yeah, for sure. Before, just before mm -hmm. I leave, okay. Okay. And and then I gotta be back for eleven too, so. Okay. 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 So I don't know if you like that at home. You could lay down in the afternoon with it for a couple hours, true? It's the idea. I take it that, that you know that and, and and in the morning or something and, and do some rest like that and then and then at night too. Or you could do that while we were watching Vikings or whatever, right? Okay. That would be an idea. <sighs> Tim, I gotta sit down. I don't feel up. This is A and W. I don't know if it's flat at this point. It probably is. And it's a it's a useless straw, so how about we throw that straw out and we get another straw and we put this thing in here, okay? Does that work? No, it's not that flat. So there it goes. That'll work. Because those are those cardboard things. So. So let's bring this over here a bit. What a good idea. And I can... Oh, there you are. Oh, okay. Well, it's just I didn't do get report. If you know him yeah. that way, you can take it off. Thank you. Yeah. She, this is your nurse, Anne. Yeah, I'll come. Hi, Anne. Yeah, Bye. she's getting her, her report on you. And then I told her that if she needs any help to um, ask me to demo you. Does that sound good to you? Oh, good. We get the book Rogers mask off. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, um, see, I, I talked to him on the phone, uh, and nobody knew what was wrong with that, and just all the excitement, so, well, I don't know, with the laptop, and, okay, da 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 la da, -da, -da. Look, you are more yourself suddenly. Oh. No. <laughs> um, Neither does the neighbor. Oh, gee, you do that. <laughs> <laughs> the mother was terrible for that. Oh. Like some, uh, oh, like you she used to get chased by the neighbor. What did you say? Oh, yeah. I remember as a kid that she got chased by the neighbor. It was at night time she went to the garden. Okay uh, and you she you came off? tearing out of the house. I think he beat up on the patio and he saw her. And he came over and knocked on the door. Where's your mother? So, eight. Well, the neighbor, the neighbor figures this is his contribution, right. so there you go, right? It's, so, and Tim, would you like to get washed up? I think you need, you need a fresh pad, yeah? Everything. Okay, that's, yeah, that's it, not a problem. Um, so if, I know you guys... You pass on the phone. Empty. Empty. Go for it. Don't worry, we do all sorts of things at home, so that's cool. Um, yeah. if somebody closed the laptop and nearly cut the cord. Um, now you know why we've got an accident in bed. There's lots of excitement going on. I've taped that in. If you can try to, you know, I don't know if you've got I it around. I don't even stay near that computer. I just don't touch it. I don't well, he, see, they they close it if they're going to well, you know, change it, them or something. It, but it's, it's confidentiality, right? It's, it's, it, it's, it's patient privacy, which is a, well, it's, it's part of the protocol. Thingy, Bobby. But, yeah. but yeah, if, if they protocol, don't. It's protocols on hospital. Yeah. I know, but if they don't. You know, right. I'll just, I'm, I'm just going to turn I, it I, That so works for me. Okay. I'm going to give you a hug. They're going to clean you up. And I'm going to head home and I can talk to you on there, okay? Yep. Okay. Lots of excitement. Lots and lots and lots. And then we, we're doing that here, in here today. We're not, yep. I'm not separate from you. No. Okay. Well, I, I didn't think it was a good idea to be separate. She's told no. me that I could if I wanted, but I don't think that's appropriate. No. She says, well, we don't have to do it there. Well, that's strange because I, I'm the advocate. Ultimately, I am the advocate, much like Maylene has said, and, and no. your support person, and, and, and well, your, I guess, father. And, and you're the one who 
find them. I know we've got some of this down here. This is nice. Oh, just, so no, just we shouldn't be over there. Like okay, hang on, we're going to get you cleaned up. I okay, hold on. That was, just, that was, just, that was yesterday. yesterday. Oh, yeah. okay, the first work done. All right, yes. <laughs> thanks, dude. <laughs> yeah, you are the first one. <laughs> this is one for today, okay? I'm going to give you the plastic. We don't get many of those anymore. Oh, look at that, some tzatziki. Yeah. Excellent, garlic. <coughs> Good for you. Stir the blood. Yeah. Okay, so see we're here one time. This is good. Of course, that was that a breathing thingy? Yeah. Space chamber. Look at the toys. Oh my god, look at all the puffers you got happening. Two different um, their rights. And there's one for the third. And the other one's for the ceiling. Well, at least you have internet. I've had no internet since 10 o'clock last night. And yesterday or the day before, you couldn't you couldn't pay with a debit card. The oh, yeah. stores, all the retails, everybody was only taking credit card and cash because Rogers went down system wide. Yeah, I that. Yeah, so. I wasn't affected by that because I was putting everything on credit card and I had taken money directly out of the bank and stuff like that, so I didn't, I didn't notice that. But 24 hours later, I've lost internet since 10 o'clock last night. Just bang, went down system-wide. Huge outages in Vancouver. Okay, well I'll just pull this away. Still nothing here running. So whatever it is. What it is. That's exactly what it is. It all is. This chair, this room is set up backwards. Basically. Kai, why don't you move your chair there so that uh, Tim has somebody to look at while he's chatting? Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, we'll just. They, they brought the extra table in for me for that uh, and for. Um, laptop so I could, before we got the other thing up and happening. Oh, hey, there you go. See, I usually sit on that thing. It's it's short. Or sit on the bed. Oh. This is good, because I just had the adjustment, so it Here, I nice can't handle stretch. your pillow on there, darling. There. There are times it's what's, just um, unreal. What's your sleep like in here, Tim? Off and on through the night? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I don't think he slept for a week. Are these things all full? No, just the one that was Oh, good. Well, you know, came in the other day, and it, it looked like somebody had crashed the table over there, and I don't think it was you. It was all over the place. God. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, okay. okay. And I'm Katie. I'm social work, and I talk you to You haven't got your fat thing. Oh, I, yeah, I heard yeah. your voice out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Me, yep. Where's your Did you want just an update while we're waiting for me? Sure, to would you, answer? please? Yeah, am I okay to give an update? Yeah, that's that's why we're here. So, yeah. so can I just ask, um, because I've taken over his care this week, what yes. is your understanding of what's gone on, why he was in our ICU, and how he's doing now? He had a go down. Now, he's had those before. Yeah. He had one last year during the heat dome. Yeah. I didn't think it was hot that day. Yeah. Um, my understanding is, first of all, he said, no, we are not sedating me nor intubating me, and I said, no, and I'm the legal whatever. Yeah. I was under the impression I was taking him home. He was coherent and fine. Don't go look for a laundromat on, on Canada Day, okay? That's the bottom line. He needed a pair of clean pants. I ran over to Value Village. One of the nurses said, so oh, just over Value Village. By the time I got back, they put him in there. And all hell went down over hell. So the idea being is, is we don't know if we can even bring him back. So we've had a lot of miracles so far. And now we were working on the CO2 issues and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I take, that's my understanding. No, no, I, okay. I think that's pretty close. So basically okay. you were very sick when you came to hospital. It was because of the lungs not being able to breathe off the toxin, which is carbon right. dioxide, which normally lungs that are uninjured can do that, right? Um, so that's related to the previous smoking. And I, I said right. I congratulated him. It's fantastic. Yeah, he's not, he's on, you're on top. That's amazing. So. Yeah. But sometimes the extent of damage is so severe that unfortunately it, it 
messes with people's ability to compensate appropriately. And these illnesses, including emphysema or COPD, is a chronic progressive illness, which means even though you stop smoking, it can still worsen over time and people can die of their medical issues over time, as we know. That's why we treat them as best we can. But I don't have a magic on wand. I can't undo the scarring and damage that's been done already to his lungs. The other issue as well is while he's been in hospital, of course, we did lots of testing and he's much more stable now after being treated for that initial flare up or exacerbation. Yes. Um, but the heart is also showing signs of pulmonary hypertension. So pulmonary hypertension. Oh, hi there, you Hi. Hi. This is Mei Ling. Hi, Mei Ling. Hi, we'll get your stool out again. I'm Katie. I'm social work. Hi, Katie. Hi. hi. We're just doing a bit of a catch up. I don't know if there's another chair for her to sit on potentially. Oh, no. Her stool's there. Oh, she just came from the chiropractor, right, too. There you go. So this works for me. So we were just giving an update. So I was saying, you know, the reason he came to the hospital because he was very, very sick. The lung disease had flared up. We call that an exacerbation of his COPD. Um, and that acute issue here. has settled. But basically, yes. when the lungs are damaged from years of smoking, what happens is their ability to exchange oxygen for carbon dioxide gets impaired. The carbon dioxide toxin builds up into the body and the bloodstream and can affect the brain and the body. Okay. Um, so we know you have emphysema or COPD, you have bad lung disease, we've known this for a while and I congratulated him on stopping smoking because that was one of the best things he did, but despite doing that, the extended damage is still there, right? Um, and it can still progress over time, which is why we treat these with certain medications. The second issue I was just about to go into is the heart. So his heart is showing signs of pulmonary hypertension and that is basically fancy medical speak for the pressures are elevated from the right hand side of the heart going to the mm -hmm. lung circulation because the lungs are so damaged from the lung disease. There's almost this increased resistance to try right. to push the blood through the circuit and that causes elevated pressures that go to the right hand side of the heart and it's making one of his valves on the right hand side of the heart leaky. So that's called pulmonary hypertension. That can make people really short of breath. That can make, make them need oxygen over time. And again, the only treatment for that is not smoking and just monitoring his lung disease. And again, that is something we don't have a cure for, right. something that will progress over time. So the bottom line is you're doing a great job. We're fine tuning you with your medications, but you have chronic progressive medical conditions, which will worsen over time. That's your natural trajectory. Yep. So gotcha. where we're at in terms of his um, planning is we're stable, but it's looking like he's depending on certain therapies in order to be able to uh, exchange carbon dioxide, particularly at night. So when we sleep, all of us breathe a little bit differently. Um, because his lungs are already so damaged, he's not able while he's sleeping to breathe that carbon dioxide toxin off. Okay. And what happens is it can accumulate in the body and it can affect the brain and people can be unresponsive, confused, they can get very sick with that. Okay. So he's needing this special machine called the yes. BiPAP, which is basically blowing air in and out, is exchanging this carbon dioxide out at night to make sure he basically doesn't slip into a coma or, or build up the carbon dioxide to toxic levels. So, sorry. Sorry, that's different than a CPAP, which is just CPAP one is way. continuous positive airway pressure. BiPAP is bi-level, so it has two adjustment settings. So it's usually an indicative of more severe disease. Yeah. CPAPs we traditionally use just for sleep apnea, which is not what he has. Um, this is really because his lung disease is so bad to really exchange that carbon dioxide toxin. And it is going to be a therapy he's likely dependent on for the rest of his life. And it will get worse. There will be a point where even this will not work at night. Okay? But this is going to buy us time to get him home safely. But that is where we're wanting to go, yeah, right? Absolutely. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So that, this is where we're at. This is what your lungs need to get home, which is basically what we're trying to set you up with safely. Because I don't want you to go home and then you wake up one day <coughs> and you're unresponsive again. Like 24 hours later. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. right? Which yeah. is the worry. And we've tested that while he's here in hospital. His gases, the carbon dioxide levels do go up when he doesn't use the machine. So he is needing it, unfortunately. Now, thankfully, he is on disability, so the cost of the machine, I understand. That's where we're okay. going with you. Yes, exactly. I heard you put in some apps. It's very expensive yeah. otherwise. Yeah, yeah. so a few thousand dollars. I think you can yeah. kind of speak a bit more to that, because I'm just a simple medical doctor, so yeah. you can have some more Yeah, so I had Can you come over this way? I'm going to say, you know what, i got a shoulder and she's I got a hip. I can stand right here. <laughs> Thank okay. you. So I have called the ministry, okay, yes. and they will cover the trial that he needs to go through okay. on the BiPAP, okay? okay. And then if and when you say the trial, what do you mean? So you mean like they'll have to do a trial with him on BiPAP, oh, and then they kind of okay. track 
how often he's using it, um, just the different levels, the different uh, readings that they're getting back. Does that happen here or at home? I believe it happens at, at home. Oh, oh yeah. okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, and you can ask the respiratory therapist more fine detailed questions. A little bit like yeah, the vital air yeah. routines. Yeah, gotcha. for sure. Okay. If, sorry, just a question. Mm -hmm. Is this machine connected to a live feed? I'm, or I, I'm not sure. Is it a standalone? And I'm, I don't sure? think it's being monitored 24 7, but I, I can ask the respiratory therapist. Yeah, they'll know a little bit more about that. But I, I don't believe it is, but I don't want to tell you anything wrong. Mm -hmm. so anything well, the that. reason I'm asking is because you said that you're watching it, and I mm -hmm. thought, well, if there's if there's a live feed, then then you're going to have real data on an ongoing basis. Yeah. That you can I'm pretty sure, yeah. So it, it tracks when he's using it. The and machine and tracks it. it. Yeah, the machine okay, tracks yeah. But I don't think there's like a video camera. No, no not like that. Not like a... Like data. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, so, so at what point, what's the mechanism for that data to be returned to the medical people? So I will have to clarify that with a respiratory therapist. Yeah, we'll so have I think to get the respiratory therapist. I'm not aware of that. I don't do that part. Well, somebody has to look at it, right? Otherwise, it's just data floating around. Yeah, yeah and that's why yeah. they do the trial, right? So they yeah. do a trial, they take the data back, they say, okay, is he actually using the machine? But the trial is at home rather yeah. than home. here? Yes. Is, is there any We're reason it can't be done here? No, so it's to document compliance. Yeah. Because okay. it's a very expensive machine, so if a patient's not going to use it, yes. they're not going to the be putting up the cost of it. Okay, it. Yeah. Tim, do you remember Teresa Neal? No. So she ran into the same thing. That's she right. Kept not take, she kept not putting her mask on, and they tried fitting her like you. She had a lot of trouble. They tried fitting her with different masks because her face was an awkward fit and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she just kept ripping the thing off. She'd get up to go pee in the middle of the night, and she'd, fit, she'd tangle with the cords, and she'd fight and, with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And eventually, like eventually, within three or four weeks, they took the machine away. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you don't use it, and like I understand where they're coming from from a finances standpoint too, because then there are patients who will be compliant with it, and you know we have to use our resources So you would have to use it. Yes. But we really like want to make sure that you are using the, the therapy at home. Then, yeah. And it's, it's not my job to sit here and say, you absolutely need this and force this on you. My goal is to work with you. So I, you know, that's why when I asked you the other day, I'm like, will you use the machine? Are you okay doing that? Because my job is to ask your permission. I have some patients who say, Dr. Burgi, I hate this machine. I'm never going to use it. Use it, um, and you know, as long as we have a very frank discussion on, well, then you're probably going to die a little bit earlier of your COPD. That's fine, but my job is never to force anybody. I just want you comfortable, and you know, for you, I think being in a home setting is preferable. Mm -hmm. Of course, for most people, it is. Uh, yeah, my job I'm is right to next work with there. you to get you home, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so, may I ask a medical yeah, question yeah, before course. we move on? So, we were talking about this this morning. And the idea being was, I said, so we changed the routine up a little bit. Yeah. You know, you get up in the morning, he's on a language groups that I run and other things. Okay, and you know, you feed the cat and you do this and that. And then you go and you take a little bit of a lay down yeah. for an hour or so yeah. and use it then. And then maybe do that again in the evening. And maybe it isn't on all night then. So for him, he would have to use it on John he, yeah. He would, they're, they're, he would they're want very, it all night. They're particular, okay. so I don't make the rules, oh, and okay. we'll have to clarify like what the specific number specification is, but they do track that. So what does all night mean? I so mean, that's, that's what I'm saying, let's figure out, because the respiratory therapy, yeah. so I know, this is why I work in a team in medicine, I just mm -hmm. know the acute treatment of the patients in hospital, okay. I'm not so good at the outpatient stuff, because I deal with the well, happy balance, balance, but I think all of us are really close. So we need the respiratory therapy, yes, I think, to clarify some of these questions for you. And that's why they do the trial. Don't worry, I'm the warden. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, well. yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It's great that you have this excellent support system. A lot of patients don't, unfortunately, right? So I think this will be quite beneficial, and that's why that trial in the community is very, very important. But we can note down what does it mean exactly, you know, the concerns about the data, the tracking, and then the numbers. We can mm -hmm. feed that back to the respiratory therapist because they'll have much more knowledge than myself on that as well. Okay? Yeah. Okay, perfect. How many hours, how many hours a night? That, that's, I so think, I'm where we're clarify. going with I'm going to clarify. Yeah. I'm going to get you the numbers because I don't want to tell you anything about <coughs> them, okay? So let me get the correct you know, information ten, for you. Ten to, ten to five, right? Like, kind of, he, Tim's usually up quite early in the morning yeah. anyway is the thing. So, yeah, yeah. he's getting older, so it's probably going to be in terms of a block. So, so if he uses it for four hours, yeah. most people our age are getting by on six, yeah. six and a half, seven. 
Right. So and, and that's like with you at so I would, night too. I would caution everybody yep. from speculating. I'm someone who operates gotcha. on facts. Sorry. Gotcha. I don't like any room for gotcha. guessing. I like to know what's going on. That's why I'm so aggressive. Yeah, but that's um, my word here is to throw the variable. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're asking the right question. We need question. to bring the respiratory therapist. I know. That's what I'm saying. We need, you. We need yeah. the RTs to give yeah. you the answers. We yeah. don't want guessing. I want to know. I don't know anything about that either. I just need to make sure that. Are we able to see him today? I think we can see if the RTs can talk to you today. That would. Yeah, like while we're here. Yeah, and then it settles then his thoughts. Know, all I work for free that I'm money. So I work in the hospital um, so I think that would be really good. All the and then I guess... In the ICU and all the patients in the ER. But yeah. whose interests are you representing? Patient. Patient, family support. Okay. But I also work... I do work for Fraser Health, so... Okay. She helps coordinate everything yeah. and then knows about things that I don't know about. That's yeah. what I keep saying. And I think the other final piece, so we'll clarify, I want to get one of the RTs to chat with you today. That would be good. They may Thank be you. like, we'll try our best, but they're kind of, there's a few patients dying in the hospital right now, so yeah. we're running around. Um, so we'll try for today. Um, and then that way the specific questions you have about the data monitoring and the time can be answered, and I think that would be great. The other thing I wanted to chat with you about is your overall direction of your goals of care. So when I say that, do you know what I mean by that? Meaning in the event that your lung disease worsens, which is going to over time, what measures would you like us to take? Would you like to come back to hospital and potentially die in hospital? Would you never want to come back to hospital? Would you want to be treated at home? Would you want to pass at home? Have you given any of that any thought? Because that is a really real, real thing. It will happen eventually. It may be weeks and maybe months and maybe longer, but I think that's an important discussion for us to have so we can be respectful of what it is that you want ultimately. I would like to have a discussion with Tim privately before okay. that meeting takes place. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, so I think if that's something no one's ever talked to you about before, we, we have talked about okay. those issues. And if, um, are you okay with my expressing where we're at? Because you may, you need to have a talk with him too. Mm -hmm. But we've talked about this and Tim doesn't want to die in a hospital. I don't want him to die in a hospital. Yeah. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing, honey. Um, we've known each other for 20, more than 20 plus years. He's, okay, okay, 40 years. He's been there for 20 plus years. Um, so this is not officially my husband, and at the same time it basically is. It's really a strange, there are different ways that you do family nowadays. Um, I am more than willing to have him die at home. I'm thrilled we got a machine coming because yeah. I've been beside myself going how do I revamp the household now and move stuff around so maybe we can at least sort of stay settled he's got an area where everything is contained so he can have his oxygen and then we take him out and okay so that buys some time to start to put things together because if we needed the home care mm -hmm. then I can get another area going and etc etc so is that about on page okay and then in that line of questioning, like, would you want to come back to an ICU? Let's say you go home, you do the BiPAP, and eight weeks later you're sick again. Do you want to come back to a hospital or no? Because that's important oh, to know too. Okay. Well, if we think that if you're going to bring them back out of it, I guess. So, like I said, this I oh yeah, man, you if never I had know. a crystal ball, my job would be so much easier. But I have no control over that. I can't yeah. predict that, right? Yeah. So, in medicine, the way it works is I I don't change anyone's destiny, what's going to happen is going to happen. We basically give all the therapies we can provide to somebody and their body has to be strong enough to respond to them. Um, so uh, when, when it's not, that's really up to their body. And there's really unfortunately no way to predict that. I went online and I couldn't find it. I lost both of my parents yeah. in 2015 yeah. and 16. Sorry and to that. one of the things that um, uh, one of the things that we had filled out for both parents, and I couldn't find it online, was the scope agreement. Oh, like the uh, medical orders okay. treatment? Yeah. Like the most agreement? The most. Yeah. Uh, so the most no wonder we scope. couldn't. Yeah, so the most is something we use in hospital. There's yeah. actually a different community agreement that you can fill out with your primary care provider. But it's a long, I, I wonder if we can link Can you get that. me? Yeah, I can use some information. I can give you some information. Because my only worry is I don't know if the next time you come back to hospital, is that going to be a time we can still send you home? Is it going to be a time where you'll have to, pa like there's no way for me to predict that. God, if I knew that information, like, yeah, but I will never be privy to that information, right? So, I have um, that That's why I want to make sure we're respecting End of wishes. life kind of, you know, if he was yeah. unconscious and we didn't know what we were going no, to no, do, of course, of I've course. got those 
done. He, he did them up about a, a year yeah. or so ago. So we haven't really proceeded in scope. Yeah, no wonder that we can't most, find it. So mm. does he have a most agreement in place? Uh, he does currently, yes. Yeah. I believe he's a DRC one. Yes. And um, yeah, who was it filled out with? That was discussed with him by the emergency physician when he came in. Okay, can we get a copy of that again? That that would be a good idea because I sure. didn't realize that that had been done and I don't yeah. think you really No, it's always realized. Out. It's not a legal document. Oh, it's not a binding okay. document. No, it's not a power of attorney. Yeah. But can yeah. we fill it out because whatever he said then, I want to go over it with him sure. and we can have discussion. So, so I'll, I'll make it very frank. I, will, I would not be putting him on life support. Okay, that's not an option for him. Okay, okay. good. With yeah. his lung disease, because it's so severe, I would need to basically put a hole in his neck if he was ever on a ventilator called a tracheostomy yeah. to get him off the ventilator if I was ever able to get him off. So, you know, God forbid, and we're being very blunt here, I'm a very blunt person, but if your heart should stop, God forbid, um, or your lungs fully gave out to the point that we couldn't maintain them with a BiPAP mask, he would not be a candidate for breaking his ribs to no, CPR, I that. putting in a breathing tube and putting him on a breathing machine. So that is why he is a DNRC one. That's all it means, and we're happy to provide you with okay. that yeah. as long as we have your permission. That's not a problem. Um, I think the biggest thing is what happens when he is sick again. And it may not be for several weeks. It may happen sooner than that. There's no way to predict it, but he does have bad lung disease. Yeah. That's why we're having this conversation. He's got pulmonary hypertension that is severe. So he's got a lot of end organ dysfunction, particularly when it comes to the chest, meaning the organ systems are barely hanging on and they're needing support at night now. Okay. So that's why I want to make sure that the next time he gets sick, we really understand what your wishes are and we're respectful. Do you want to come back to hospital? If so, how long? What therapies would you like us to provide? Would you want the BiPAP mask on all day, as you do need sometimes in ICU, rather than just at night, right? So these are all discussions I think you should initiate and you guys should have as a team together and then get back to us whenever you're comfortable because it will happen again, right? This is the natural trajectory of lung disease. When it's this severe, it will worsen over time um, and he will have another flare up. But well, what I wanna be make sure is, am I being respectful and basically making sure your wishes are being looked after. Because I have some patients who are like, why did I get sent back to hospital? And that's because nobody had the discussion with them, right? And then I am here as a physician feeling like my patient's been violated, which is not a good feeling as a physician for me because I'm trying to do So let's clarify for this for, if not for me, at least for Tim. Yeah. So if there was another flare up and, you know, we think in this country that everything has to happen a certain way. It wasn't no. always like that, was it? Um, if there was another flare-up and Tim wanted to just stay there, yes. Tim is within his rights okay. to just stay home. Yeah. That's but the end of that. if he's confused and unresponsive, then that's then these then are the, the things that falls on you, or it falls treat on it as an emergency. It falls they on me as to right away and, whether or not so, or what. what yeah. So that's why it's very important yes. to have these discussions beforehand to keep these things in his wallet or wherever. Um, and if he had a flare-up at home, there are medications we can give, like prednisone inhalers at home yeah. and antibiotics yes. that are oral, not IV, for him to try to deal with them at home. But again, they, those therapies have limits too, just like the body has limits and you know responses to therapy. But I think it's really important for us to really get an idea of what it is that you want um, and at what point you would be willing or not willing to come back to hospital. Would you want to even come back to an ICU at all? He's, um, he's about overloaded right now. Yeah. He's very yeah. close to overloaded. Yeah. Okay. So if we could just stick to major, yeah. you know, major points. This will be yeah. several discussions. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I just, I just yeah. want to throw yeah. this out here. You don't have to make a decision today, but this is a really important part of your direction or your goals of care ultimately, yeah. right? This is what we're the the end discussion of what we're trying to get at. I'm not asking anyone to. Make no, a and I I so I appreciate you being here today. Don't, don't it, actually have this conversation. It does not happen usually. Yeah. It does not. And we often don't have the luxury because I come in here and people are, you know, dying, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so I think when we have the time and someone's a little bit more settled, they have their support with them. Take your time, think about it, and have the discussions. And we're here to answer to make sure that if you have any, so if you have any questions, questions for Dr. Green, right now. Yeah, and I think we're going to write on the list. I was just going to say, write them down. Though. I was going to say, Ty, have you picked up a spiral notebook for Tim yet? Yeah, he had one here, yeah. along with a few other things that we keep I would losing. Write them down. That's what yeah. I do. Write them yeah. down and then throughout the day. 
pop our heads in. We can try to ask. Okay, we we'll try to answer any questions you guys have. We'll try to get the respiratory therapist in to discuss the yeah. that machine. Okay, and the logistics of yeah. that. Okay. That would be okay. Good. Okay, okay, guys. Okay. Perfect. Oh, very nice to meet you. Okay. Yes. Thank nice you to so meet you. Much. Bye, my dear. Oh, yeah. Okay. Write out so your questions. I'll be back okay? a little later. later. Okay. Do, um, do, do you guys have any questions for me right now? Or? No, I'm just, know, I'm just kind of looking for a timeline that. We know to work around for respiratory coming or respiratory yeah. therapist coming so in. You you'll be back there's a then. Lot going on in the hospital right oh, now. okay. Like a lot of people are, are very, okay. very sick, and they're always very sick, but okay. a lot of well, yeah. right now. So I'm I'm gonna try to see if one of the respiratory therapists can come okay. up today. Are you guys planning on staying? For Not probably the full day. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So maybe what I'll do is I'll oh, try to Oh, I know what I wanted to check, Tim. What are your hours like these days? What What's your sleep pattern? Well, I'm, I'm available 24 hours. No, 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 I understand that. And I can be available kind of within that range, within 18 hours of that range. But when are you awake and most lucid at this point? Mornings. In the mornings. Mornings. Okay. And what time is lights out, roughly? Nine, 10 o'clock. Nine or yeah. ten o'clock. Okay. Okay. So yes. I just because I yeah. live just down the street. From okay. Here, you guys all live close to each yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah. We're on yes. opposite ends. So. Okay. So. And that's good for the respiratory therapist okay. to know. So um, now, Tim, are you on just regular persons with disabilities? Um, I think so. Okay. You're As not opposed to income assistance. So there's income assistance and there's persons with disabilities. Okay, the disability is the higher rate. I think he's on the disability. Okay, I, so I think so, and you may be. No, you're just ministries, aren't you? Oh, you're just I'm in here being a fly on the wall. I just know it. Oh, God. <laughs> what did you say, Tim? No. I'm <laughs> He's going to get this Four done. Four a month and a disability pension for whatever it is. Okay. So... If it's okay with you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and get you to sign a consent so that I can call the ministry to confirm which one you're on and to confirm that this machine will be covered. Because otherwise it's very, very, very expensive. It's like three, three to five thousand dollars for the machine. Okay? So I'll go get a consent form and then that way I can just call them. And the only question I'm going to ask is just to confirm that you're on persons with disabilities and that you'd be covered for a BiPAP trial and a BiPAP machine. Is that okay? That's the one I've been using right now. No. Oh, the here. Yes. Here. here. Yeah. yeah. So if he was not covered, mm -hmm. can Joel do some wrangling on that? That's the who's Joel? Doctor Kruger. Um, you would have to discuss that with him. Let me find out first okay. where we're at, oh. and, and then yeah. if we find that he's not going to be covered, so say for whatever reason he's not on persons with disabilities, he's just on regular income assistance. Um, there might be some partial coverage on income assistance. Persons with disabilities just have a broader range of coverage for medical supplies, devices, prescriptions, that kind of thing. And the difference is, I think, what's what basic welfare now is mm -hmm. like 600 a month or yeah, something? Yeah, five, five or six yeah, hundred five. a month. Oh my god. And I think persons with disabilities is about 1300 a month. Is that He's, closer? You're, you're not getting that, are you? Well, they tax it and everything. They though. do tax it. So it would be reduced. It would yeah. be down to like a thousand a month, say? About 12. About 12? Yeah. Then, so then he's, so then he's he is probably going to be on PWD. I right. just want to confirm with the ministry, okay. though, before we, we move forward with this, because I don't, I want to make sure that you're covered for this machine. Okay. Right. okay. okay so but, let me... but it's going to take an undertaking from you, Tim, mm -hmm. that you're going to work with the machine, yeah. right? Yeah. Because they, they keep track of all the data, reportedly. We'll let the respiratory therapist explain yeah, let him the process do all the, to you. Yeah. But they do the trial to make sure that you're using it. Because otherwise they won't cover the cost for you. Okay. Well, of course. Who's your respiratory yeah. therapist? Is that Wilson? Mm -hmm. Who? Dr. Wilson? Oh, no. They, his, his res, his res there's been a few. Oh, yeah. yeah there's, there's, a few, there's, there's a few, few increases. Yeah. So we've had Jan and Van and... Oh my goodness, I don't know. I, I've got everybody's name down someplace, right? I know, I know. It's a lot of different faces, a lot of different people. So um, let me write that consent okay. form for Tim to sign, and then I'll get that all and sorted. And if you can check that, and maybe we can settle that at least yeah. today. Right while we're here. Okay. okay, so I'll go do that, Good all right? Stuff. I'll be right back. We're going to yeah. ask her. You are such a sweetheart to bring the other table. Have we got another chair? Huh? Can I get another chair in here? Yeah. Oh, you see? Oh my goodness. 
That's because you're short. That's that's why I like you. Because <laughs> I am too. Was there a housekeeper here yesterday? I don't think so. I, I don't think anybody came in. Well, there was, but she managed to get it all done in two hours. I was so pissed off because I was doing the Oh, my goodness. Is short staff in this bag? Major short staff? Who isn't short staff? Yeah. Well, that's well, why I said Melissa major. I thought yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah, were yeah, 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 short staff. Everywhere short staff. But you know what? Oh, thank you. Oh, you're sweet. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Now, this. Oh. Is exactly the same thing I have on my on second. my badge here. Okay, so it goes. And I need two glasses at times. Yeah. Okay, it goes through all the different levels, so it's not just a DNR or not. Okay, it goes, there's different levels that it yes. goes through. Right? Yes. So there's the attempt or do not attempt, right? Okay. Which is the DNR, and there's the M1, M2, M3. So basically, all we have at this point. This was when he came into Chilliwack, though. Yes, this is, yes. so that was Dr. That's, Colicius. That's, that's it. So that, okay. so anytime that there's a transfer or they move Yeah, I, I was, I was they, pretty they insistent on that one when we got here. That. Yeah. Okay. So it's excluding yeah. intubation. But see, Abbotsford did it even after he had said no. Yeah. And, and I am okay. not a happy puppy, no, okay, I, if you get I me. I understand because the thing is In that fact, if, and that's why we, let me think about his name. To have a green slip on the fridge or something in the wallet, something on his person, so that if something were to happen to him in the community, like it did to you guys, the paramedics could read it and say, "Okay, he's a DNRC one. We're not going to intubate him, but we're everything." But else. this was not by paramedics, and we're not talking about paramedics. Right. We're, we're talking at the about hospital? we were at the hospital. Oh. The doctor was spat, spat, spat. Well, it, I've got it written down. Oh, I, I, listen, honey, I can tell you that mm. some of the stuff mm -hmm. is probably in a video camera. Mm -hmm. How's that grab you? Um, mm -hmm. So that's where mm -hmm. I'm at right now. He was amazed to say, mm -hmm. how did all this happen? Mm -hmm. When he yeah. finally, finally says, one she little says, darling nurse said, I'm going to try to bring him back. Mm -hmm. And like McLean said, he's less than 50%. And Half of North America with people were tied into were praying and in sweat lodge. We never knew Tim was that important, but that's just, yeah. there's the joke, okay? Yeah. But this should never have started this way. In fact, he was he was not that much different than when he's had other sort of go-arounds. It's coming back now from this whole thing of the intubation. Okay, so that's, for sure. I'm not and the medical doctor, but we've been the yeah. route with him for a while, so. And that's why this is important. <laughs> so it excludes intubation, okay. okay? And they would not be doing chest compressions. No, okay. that would okay. probably survive now, anyway. This this is just a brochure that can explain that a little bit better. Thank and you. then okay, information gotcha. about CPR. Now, he's not that's a That's what it is. Remember, I kept yeah, saying the scope. <laughs> yeah, scope of treatment. Yeah, well, it's medical order scope of treatment. So you yeah, have well, there you go. And one of them, right? There yeah. you go. This one might not. This is just more so it gives you kind of. You got another one of those? Options. Um, I can print another one off. Can yeah. You? Oh, thank yeah. you. So, um. You do that or you leave it with me to. You know what, just, hang on, I've got my cell this. phone here. Let me just take a picture of it. Okay. I, I can print one off for you guys, too. It's not a big deal, whatever you want to do. It's just um, and paper. also, if you go on the Fraser Health website, I believe. It's there. It well, may well, well be. That's why I'm just going to take a picture. Yeah. 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 Oh, of course. So okay. we're waiting now. Our agenda is, and you can appreciate the fact that, um, as I said to Tim, we, we each have our, our struggles here. My, my life has turned into a three and four hours sleep at night mm -hmm. and, and a lot of kooky traveling. So right. agendas are important so I can know when to be here and yeah. how I can organize that and cover all the bases. He's here today. Mm -hmm. I can track one of the RTs myself if necessary, mm -hmm. if nobody gets back in. Right. This afternoon, I've got a couple things that I need to do, but I'm going to sit with him for right now. And, and your name is? Katie. Thank you very much, Katie. The other option we have too is that if if it's been too much information today and you want to sleep on it, that after rounds usually, so rounds de depends on we have a lot of people that I see right now. They start at eight thirty. They're usually done by eleven ish. Yeah, um, not necessarily not always necessarily, a good time right? for me to be here either. Well, and that's, that's okay too. But yeah. Usually the respiratory therapist is around during rounds. Um, so they would be able to answer any questions afterward. Um, but we, we'll try our best to get one of them to pop in. Okay. 
but um, or even a few. He's in in the morning, and he's okay for you guys. He's in the morning, and he's also here yeah, at night. Yeah, we want to make sure, Tim, that, that you can ask all your questions too, right? So it'd be better just to have a, a big group conversation, right? Yeah. So want to make sure that you're involved every step of the way, right? Yeah. Okay. And if you guys have any questions for me, anything comes up. I know I for Katie. Yeah. For social, social work. Social work. For Katie. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yep. And they'll know it's me and they'll give okay. me a call. Okay. Okay. boo. Okay. Take Thank care you. of yourselves. Okay. Yes. All of you, especially you, sir. Okay. <laughs> All right. There and used to be a second page. For what? On the most. It used to be a two-page thing that you went through. Okay, no, it's, that's all, that's all that we got. That's on okay. the green sleeve now, yeah. That's okay, yeah. Just oh. noting it. Okay, I'm overwhelmed even if you're not, Tim. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to go tiptoe around the robins and okay. and sand rake, rake handles. Yeah, um, that sounds I'm like I'm probably fun. not going to come back and see you today, but I'll come and see you tomorrow. When's the quiet time to come and see him tomorrow? Uh, I mean... It really depends on your schedule. You guys can kind of come as whenever you please, but we usually do rounds here, um, 8.30 to 11, 11.30ish. Yeah. And so whenever time works for you guys. And then really. evening, he's going goes on that, and we spend time with yeah. Watches so, Victory, and we broadcast, yeah. So Tim, if I have to be home, to come and see you I got that open, okay. and then we Tomorrow can afternoon? talk. Tomorrow afternoon? Yeah. Two-ish? Sounds good. Yeah. Around two? Okay. And you can call me at home later or whatever. Yeah. So I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come and see him at round two, and I'll okay. be here for maybe 90 minutes, just because I don't want to tire you up. Look at that food is going good with you. It does. Mm -hmm. Yes. Look at the color coming back into your face. Look at you, wow. little piggy, yeah, just awesome. coming right back to life again. <laughs> so okay. All right. I have to go You're see right. some Thank other you. people, but it's lovely okay. to meet you guys, okay? You. And I'm here if you guys need anything, okay? Ask me any questions. I'll do my best to help you guys as much as I can. Thank you for getting Okay? That. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. Take care. Okay. If you're going to drink your tea, you want to get the bag into it before the water gets Yeah, cold. no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that food, look it. I've never seen anybody's color change so fast besides mine. <laughs> can you feel it? Can you feel it before it coming back? Totally. You're just inhaling that. Okay, so good to see you. You have my phone number, right? So you yep. can call me if you can order Restless. Call me. You pick it up. I'm. Am I listed under there by name on that phone? No, I, um, I've got it written down for him. I, or I'll check it, make sure it's there. Okay. Because he doesn't, he actually tends not to do that. Don't call, tell me to. You're 4798, are you not? Nine nine one four seven eight. Who? You. No. Oh. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Yes. And the good thing is, Kai goes to bed early, but I don't. So if he you can't want. talk, he just mess up. Oh right. Okay. That's not for one. I can't talk. That's Kai was telling me. She says it's all muffled and. And the stupid social worker that was asking me questions while I had the mask yes. on. <laughs> well, we're all human. We're all we're all muddling our way along, I guess. So uh, four four seven nine eight. That's right. Okay. So I'll okay. see you around two then tomorrow. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, Kai. Okay, Hank. Talk to you later. Thank you, my friend. I have to pay attention. Paul. That's very really right. Okay. Now. I, you know, do the captain moment. I'll do the food picture moment. You are terrified, I take it, and have had a hell of a conversation. I do think Mei Ling does bring a certain leveling. It really, the conversation hasn't changed anything. Everything is still, it's just, it's, it's, it's spoken. And as far as I'm concerned, Tim, I feel like I can see land. That doesn't mean that I'm, I'm happy we're having this talk. I can see land. I can see you coming home. I can see things changing a little, but I can also see us 
out on the trike for a while. Maybe. Huh? Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Do you like Okay, so you're getting starting to weary at this point. But this morning, you know what? You do get in and you start doing a little movement and have it to go up and down the stairs once or twice a day at least. It will help. You have laid in bed for 10 days. I know. So any any strength or, or muscle tone that you had like has gone out the window again. I know. Well, then I, I guess better do we know what we're this doing. Is, this is because of your okay, water pulse so here. If you, I, um, what, well, don't you have a diaper on? Yeah. And then what do you do? I need to go and organize that. Um, I'm, okay, I'm well. going to probably get rolling here soon too, my friend. Okay? I'm going to go home and organize, start organizing in the lower temple room. I, I can't believe I'm saying that because I don't even know how to do it. But I, I, I feel motivated to do something now and I don't know about the cats. I haven't figured that one out yet either. But SPCA is not answering me and I really don't know. My other, other bright idea is to take Missy out and just let her out by one of the farms. I can't believe I'm saying that. I, I don't know. Daisy thought she had somebody lined up and she said, well, would she be a barn cat? I said, she probably would. Don't put it there, it will be in on your bed. And if you put it on the table, it will be on your bed. You're, you're going to have to learn to buzz these people to take this thing, okay? You're, you're just going to have to. There's your buzzer. You should be buzzing them to come and get it. That's why it ends up on the floor. Tim. What do you need to say? I'm going to miss you. What? I'm going to miss you. Why are you going to miss me? It's all over. Honey, it's not all over, is it? Please don't even say that right now. Don't say that for me. Okay? Let's work with these steps of faith. We're going to pray in a minute, okay? Because I know Maylene's going to do some spiritual stuff with you, but I think you need hold on to what has gone on already. Tim, there's been some incredible miracles. I've tried to tell you this, the pictures of all, all the guys standing in Tim Hortons and, and a couple more on their goddamn knees. And it, it's just been, it's incredible. Okay? You don't know what you look like, sedated or otherwise. I do. I didn't think I didn't think you were coming back. When I went to, of all things, I, I didn't even know what to do. I thought, this is nuts. I can't take this to Facebook. What do I do? Who do I call? Didn't get a call. Answer from Andrew. Didn't know what to do. Went to Facebook and Kim answered. Of all people, Kim. No. And I said, no. And I, and I put it on Facebook. I did some posts. Uh, just the usual, you and the cats. Hey folks, Tim's in the hospital and we're asking for prayers and he's in ICU and they sedated him and cured him against his wishes. Boom, man, it just erupted. Okay? Somebody said to me, Have I got support? I don't know if that's support. It's kind of like energy is coming in because I don't know if I would have flown this. I, I'm still not sure I'm flying it. But right now we've got a win. You're covered for this stupid thing. It's horrendous. I, I don't know why you couldn't, if there's so many hours it has to be used, yeah, exactly. I don't know if it has to go on for 12 straight, because nobody sleeps like that. You don't sleep like that. So like, now what do we do? Well then, can this not have like breaks at night? Like what happens if you have to go to the potty and you have to sit up for an hour? But I'm almost certain it can be done, okay? And maybe I change my whatever and we just started earlier in the evening and you eat and you do this and that and whatever and then we do that and damn I can sit and babble and you can go like this or like this right I'm sure we can communicate <laughs> no okay <laughs> we got this 
And I didn't buy that goddamn trite just to have you go away. I, I think I'm going to go in and try to start something with the temple room. I haven't decided what else I'm doing today. I would be coming up here around the five mark for you and then just going home or I'm coming up here around the five mark and I'm going to Jimmy's to see the guys tonight. And I'll tell them all they gotta stand in a circle and do a praise meeting. Okay? Okay. I love you. Love you too. You haven't gone anywhere yet. Don't worry. Maybe I'll go first. That'd be really bad. Yeah. I guess it would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, maybe we'll go together. It'll, it'll be great fun. Right. Oh, well, maybe not. I'm covering all my bases. In some really interesting oh ways, God. don't worry. Huh? That would be a fun. It would, wouldn't it? It'd be really. I think you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, okay. And I thought that was important because. Tim, I should have never left to go get you a pair of pants. I don't know what we would have done. Maybe you would have been dead, too, because it doesn't seem like they were smart enough to know that they should have brought in whatever this other thing is and put on you. Strange, huh? Oh. Yeah. I love you. You eat some more and get that into you, okay? I've got a... Hang, hang on a second. You've got salad to eat and whatever, and I've got to find my keys, and she's headed right now, and... That's okay, and that a lot, a lot of. There's another one. We've got one too many of those stupid things. They're all over the place. And we've got a couple of bananas, so that's good. And I'm going to go and, I don't know, figure out something or whatever and whatever, and that a lot, a lot of. And it seems to me I shouldn't be doing those things yet, but I'm not even sure how to do this, so. Okay, I, I've even wondered if I should call the movers, or call movers and say how much would it cost me to get a crew in to pack this down. What are that? I don't know yet, I figured that out. I actually don't know. Storage. In, I guess, then they'd have to move it to there, but I don't mind. I love you. I love you too, yes. Uh, I will be back in for around the 5 o'clock mark. That thing is open. Yeah, I may not talk to you morning because I'm going to get into the house. I think that we could. Now, would you please get us eating everything? Okay. Yeah. Let's do okay. this. Okay. Right now, okay. Good to eat. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, oh, here, there. You're on tape. Look, I'm on tape. Hi. Um. A story is told that Queen Victoria of the UK was deeply moved during a church service. Afterwards, she asked her chaplain, can one be absolutely sure in this life of eternal safety? He did not have an answer, but the evangelist John Townsend heard about the Queen's question and after much prayer sent her note, with trembling hands and heartfelt love, because I know you can be absolutely sure now of our eternal life in the home that Jesus went to prepare, my, I ask your most gracious majesty, to read the following passage of scripture, John 3.16 and John 10.9.10. 10. Two weeks later, the evangelist received the letter. I have carefully and prayerfully read the portions of scripture referred to. I believe in the furnished work of Christ for me and trust by God's grace to meet you in the home of which he has said, I go prepare a place for you, Victoria Guelph. Townsend was confident that in this life we could have assurance of eternal safety and he had concern for others as well. Consider John 3.16 and Romans 9.10 mean for your eternal destiny. God desires to give you the confidence that your sins are forgiven. They are, Tim, and after death you'll be with him forever. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine that's an old Tim. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood by Crosby. Lives are in God's unchanging grace can never be uprooted. So John 3.16, of course, is He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Oh. Okay. Now, I, I, 
I don't know. I could use the encouragement today. I could also use to go home and just, I don't know what, uh, eventually sit and get cats out. Um, Toady too is worse than he was before. He is worse. I, I don't know what's wrong with this cat. I, I don't know him. I could just open the back door and let him out, I guess, is what I could do with him. He's fixed, at least. I still think this is, that's cruel. There is nobody out there who wants to take anything. And, and I've been the afternoon on the phone with that stuff, too. So, it's, um... None of the shelters are even open unless by appointment, and you call and leave a message and hope they call you back. That's how it works. That's how the world is now. So... To. I, I haven't started downstairs. I worked through a bunch of files and stuff that haven't been done, and I said, okay, well, there's a start, and, and pulled tapes off of stuff, and, and, and trying to back up computers, and that thing should be fine. That doesn't need to be cleaned yet. And I probably have to go home and change cap boxes, is what I have to do. Missy's been on lockdown for, like, five days. Okay? We're in the almost two week mark here, okay, buddy? Or five days more than that, a week and a half. I, I, I don't even know what, how many days anymore. I, I, I just, I'm losing track of all of it. So it's, um, have you heard back from anybody yet or you haven't? Okay, well then she's got that in the works. So I guess it's just as fast as it happens. So how are you doing otherwise? You're all right. You, it wasn't the greatest conversation today. Yeah, I've been having these conversations actually with you for a while now. Oh, actually, oh, yes, look, now they want to. Now they want me to. Oh, okay, hang on. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way. Oh, Hold on. Okay. Well, here I'll go back this way. There, there oh, we yeah, go. Yeah, I just don't want to. Didn't want to leave it anymore. Oh, that's okay. Well, let me, can I get you just to turn your wrist over, sir? It doesn't look like it's sutured, Kim. Yeah, it didn't look like it, it was to me like either. Um, and then, you know what I do, just in case, I just always clamp it there. There. And then I actually, that way you can you can actually unattach it from there and just take the whole bag away. I find it a bit, uh, a bit easier. Then there's not as much stuff that has to come out at the end. If it comes apart, it should just, it should just, Oh, there. Oh, there. Yeah. You can get a grip on it. I couldn't. Oh, that's okay. That way it's just, there's not as much that comes, like, out with, it's like... And then yeah. you can watch him overnight with it off, is the idea, right? What? What, uh, what are we taking off? We're taking oh, just out this the arterial line. line. Oh, oh, it just okay, doesn't gotcha. need to be in anymore. And, okay. Um, gotcha. After, after a certain length of time, a lot of those invasive lines you kind of want out. Okay. Anyways, and we don't need it, and it's in an artery, not a vein, so just better to have it... Of course. Oh, it's upset with me because I took it off. You took oh, the, there you go. The trend, so. Okay, I'll just turn it. There you go. So we'll get that off of you. Yeah, and then that's one less cord and stuff as well. Yeah, his okay. finger thing he takes off to read, so that's why oh, it's yeah, that's okay. constantly. Can we move this one out and move the one that's not so cluttered in just for a minute? Yeah, oh, hold on, let me get some of this stuff out of here. Wait, okay. too. Yeah, just get, yeah, as long as it's down that side, we're good. Ugh. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I would hold, yeah, I mean, I would hold it. I mean, I I found sometimes people caught in like three minutes, and it's not a big deal as long as it's. Where did you put your thing? Oh, oh, there they are. Mm -hmm. Sure, saw those things here. Right. So yeah, it doesn't. See, look, like look I'm here for moral support. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the oh, and of course, it's sort of attached to the mm -hmm. IV that's over here. Because mm -hmm. we've got two. Off and then 
Yeah, now we're not attached. Yeah, so yeah. I just like fish around and then I always go, I try to go up that way just because I'm... But do you want to go this way? So yeah, then, yeah. <laughs> so then you're not pulling yeah. it apart. Same but. as when you're taking out a CBC, right? Yeah, exactly. Sorry, this we're trying not to take all your hair at the same time. No. Is that what you want? I'm sorry. That, yeah, look at that one. Oh, it'll be a lot less tape on that wrist moving forward, which is great. So you're expecting the rest of the yeah, guy tonight for about 9.30, 10, isn't it? Is that when he's coming through? Because I could, I could talk to him then. The, your RT comes through for then. Yeah. Yeah, okay, well then I can be on a team with it and I can, I mean, we can ask questions that way. We don't have to do it face to face. Well, I mean, we'll all be face to face anyway, so there you go. It's what, you mean with the RT tonight? Well, uh, yeah, we did. Did they so put many, him on BiPAP at night? Yeah, yeah. So he comes in. I like to cut it up, so I come off the BiPAP at six in the morning. Okay. Yeah, versus. Now it gives me time to get ready for breakfast, drink a bunch of water. Yeah, sorry, I'm just. My back was hurting, so I'm standing for a sec. There we go. Okay. I mean, I'm sure they will try to do it when you ask them to, but they also could be stuck in a and trauma in a merge, right? right? So they and will they will try to. I'm sure they would try. Yeah. Twenty to eight before they came in and released it. This morning? No. Was there only one of them on last night? No, I think so. Okay, so I've almost got this released. Okay, get your dinner here. Um, well, here. we'll get to it in a minute, yeah. Huh? Thank you, sir. Thanks, guys. We're almost there. Okay. Kim. Yes? So I got on number three, can I have a meal? Yep, he's about to eat. Dinner? Yep. Yep, okay. Okay, we all free? We're all free there. Okay. Get that. Now, because this was in an artery, I'm mm -hmm. going to be holding. No, I'll hold it. It's going to be a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, have you got any great ideas on this whole cat situation? So Here, we'll ask me you. Me or him? Um, okay, so a few months back, we took in a mother and we're into Tim's area. He, he, they're there. Um, he's hopefully coming in, but we have to reduce a lot of issues. And right now, you know what? Even finding a shelter is a nightmare. Mm -hmm. So. She's she's a very nice. She was an older girl that had kittens. I've got uh, there's her. She's brown with the white face. Mm -hmm. I can't think of the name of what they call the I don't darn know much things. About cats. Okay, and and then her little girl is very very sleek, almost almost like a you know like a when I would say a runt or like yeah you know very very tiny um, and a little black one. So uh, she's about five months somewhere in there. So. Um, so it isn't like they aren't litter box trained and then it isn't like they haven't had people and, and the whole bit but I'm 
I'm sure what you do. Yeah, we haven't had cats because my youngest is allergic, mm. and my son-in-law is even worse. So, uh. so we have a hypoallergenic dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. We have Shih Tzu. What Tzu? A Shih Tzu. That's what I thought you said. Yep. Yeah. It's S H I H. <laughs> but yes, yeah. we have a 10-pound. Uh, runs the house dog. <laughs> She's lovely. I've had her for 14 and a half years. So tomorrow morning I am on with Vange at 730. Whether or not I manage to pull it off getting in here before then, you are possibly on a mask anyway. Yeah. Okay? After Vange I have an appointment and then I don't really know if I'm planning on walking over here or simply talking to you on Teams because when I drop the vehicle off, I'm going to at least go in with a laptop, try to get some work done for the hour, and I can talk to you on there. And then maybe coming back, back. I, I don't I don't know where we're at tomorrow yet. It's, and Thursday is the same. So, okay. But you keep that thing up and, and rolling, it, it kind of is kind of cool. You know, how you doing? I'm, you know, are you doing your book? Yeah, I'm doing my book. I never can tell if you're reading or not or just sitting up. Oh, Hi. Hi. And you're still fun. Yeah. It's no different than taking out an IV. Oh, okay. <laughs> just longer. Okay. And, it didn't have, and it didn't have a stitch. Sometimes they do. This one did not. And yes, they bleed more. Hmm. Well, just because somebody else called. So, oh, yeah, so bed 6P, just so you know. In the commode for some reason. Okay, good. Maybe they thought that there was also one. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> you need a cat, don't you? A cat? Why? So we're looking forward to hopefully bringing him in, and his area is smaller, and we've got more machines Do you want to just push on that while I get some? Um, okay, right about actually It's probably my there. job to try to reduce stuff, right? So back about five months ago, we took in the mama, and there's a kitten. She's black. Kitten's adorable. It isn't like that you don't know people at this point. Oh, good. But, I need scissors. You know, what, what, do you, yeah, I need some scissors. what do you do, right? Like, um, no shelters, no nothing, and... Um, Isn't there one? Where's the useless shelter? Here's the thing. All the shelters, you call, and hopefully they call you back. Okay, That's so how it works right now. There. It's just... Just get me some scissors. I'm going to put one more of these under this. And just to give it a little bit more flavor. Oh, I thought there was one over by the treatment plant. Okay. I just want to put one more That's under That's dogs there. only. That's the cities and it's dogs only. Sorry. I That's you. okay. Okay, would you please cut right about there? No problem, Bob. Okay. That fits red, you need to ring the bell. Right. Okay? Okay, so you, you will do that. I, I will I will ask you repeatedly. Show me your wrist, show me your wrist. Yeah, no, it's okay. It, we'll, it's, roll this back here. we'll get more tape. That's just the. That's your other one. That's your IV. Okay. That's a different thing. That's a different one. But yeah, we can probably take that one out. But and I'll let Ann know because you've got a new one over there, right? Okay, I'm gonna take these out of here. We'll keep this in here in case we need it. And I'll get it your dinner for, and for you. Just in case. You okay. Have. Okay, if you want to sit around for his dinner. I, I'm going to do that. Thank you. There, honey. Okay, so, so let's, you, you can pull it over. Let's just right. for a second, and then I'll... Okay, so let's just pull Side is fair in my life. That would be wonderful. If you feel it's time for me to come home. 
Okay, what is that? Need to give keep on. Okay, no, that will be done. Wow. Thank you guys for hearing us tonight. Uh, all things in Jesus' name. And guess what? We're, we're, we're prepping for these silly cats to put someplace so Tim can come home for a while, okay? Yeah. yeah. I think that's marvelous that, that he just shared that again. Um, I pray the peace of God that passes all understanding upon him that um, it just envelopes him and we pray and ask for his holy angels and maybe the nurses won't get in their way, <laughs> okay? Yeah. And we ask you to stay with us in Jesus' name, amen. 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 I love you. Love you too. I'm hoping that you're not gonna have lost that team's meeting. I would hate to decide suddenly to go whipping off out there, come back and find the team's meeting gone. Yeah. Okay? I, I'm still not sure if I should be, what I should be doing. I, I figured I wouldn't know till I walked out of here and said, okay, I'm going to go there. Yeah. Um, it's really hot. And when I get home, it will mean a later night if we're going to watch Victory or do whatever with that. Right. Although I could do that from up where I am and screen share it. The thing is, is it's, I, I was on the, I was, here, show me your dinner. I was on the patio last night, it was that hot. And you look like you got a bigger dinner tonight. That's, that's, that's good, that's good. Okay, that's, that's a good thing. You need to eat some of that meat too, and throw it out too, okay? Yeah. So, it was that hot. And the problem is, is the mosquitoes are, are, are unbelievable, too. I'm kind of at a loss at the moment to know what on earth it is I'm... where, where, where I'm sleeping, what we're, we're going to do. It's, it's supposed to cool down a little bit in the next few days. That would put me back in with the girl for the time being. Yeah. But I haven't been in my area of the house in, since I bathed five days ago. $5,000. Did you know that? <laughs> I didn't know that specifically. I figured it's a little expensive. Ones that are 50 to 200 will not work on him. Oh. Like because of just the way his it's circulation. Good. Yeah. So, you know, like an ear clip. He does have or these things from the COPD. Maybe that's why. It, it is. That's, that's what goes on yeah. with it. But, 
here. This is all tangled around everything again, and he loses it regularly. Mm. So I'm being helpful. I bet you won't miss that, huh? So you're you're you you don't need it that, right? This finger you want? That would be good. That would be good. Me? Yeah, you need a cat. Somebody, or anybody who wants to take them. You cannot. The shelters are all by appointment only. You wait till they call you back. And, you know, like, what, what else do you do? And if he's going to come in, things need to be shifted around a little bit, right? So, yeah. And I don't want to put him and, and rip the house to pieces on another end and move him there. I would like coming in, be where he's supposed to, and um, it isn't like, there is cat there. there, there's the old girl who isn't going to bother anything, but we have another machine coming in, so you can imagine now we've got to deal with, you know, e e yeah, untrained animals, it was always enough fun with the hose thing, so. Why don't you write down the information for me, I can post it online. Yeah, yeah. I will do that, I, I will do that, okay, I will do that. This. Now, I will leave you with a piece of paper. Have you got a pen? No. Okay, here is your piece of paper to write yourself notes, okay? And I would take that thing off of it. You could have it right here, couldn't you? You don't seem to have You do have a pen. Okay, so there's that, and there's your pen. And I will get her some of this. So, if Melanie shows up, and you can tell her about whatever, and she was the one who thought that yeah, it was a good thing. Right on that. I re-embraced her. I, I thought of stopping past Satan, but, but you do need to have a, hold of a spiritual faith, and there's no reason why she cannot sort of be your a spiritual advisor isn't just an advisor. She's like an outside ear for you, okay? And I can't imagine wanting these people, they are total strangers, to be the outsider ear. That, that's not the way it should happen. You know, if... If Frank was a little more well, well, then Frank could have done it. But but just, I think she'd be good with this. And other than that, um, how are you feeling about with today? Still. Kind of like reality has finally caught up with you. Yeah. Okay. In a nutshell. Well, it had caught up a few times that this, things have gone on. But right now, our positives are getting you home. Okay? That, that's, that's all you've got to do is just hang on to that. that. There's your anchor. Okay? And if I go out there, I will, I guess that's what I'm going to go do. And um, tell the guys to start praying. Okay? And actually, I was hoping somebody was going to figure out what to do with these cats. Here's our problem, boys. <laughs> I, I don't think Manfred won't take them. No. You know, and, and I, I don't I don't know who. I, I've got some messages on Facebook. But Craigslist will not take any animals anymore. They've they've killed the pets. Unless it's pet stuff. And Kijiji is about as bad. There is an old classifieds, but I don't know and who looks at that. I've done Google searches for, you know, wanted free cat, nothing for crops. So if it was out there on one of these sites through BC, it would pop. There's nothing. Yeah. So, you know, the animal cruelty has effectively probably made things worse. Because you know what? We have as many or more strays and now we have no place to take them or deal with them or whatever. So they're just, oh well. Yeah, so, okay, honey, I love you. Nope. You're not going to put that away. We're going to have some more of that, right? Nope. What? Nope. Okay, so we're going to keep that for a bit. And I have got to go to the bathroom, so I'm going to do that. And if I do that, then I would be talking to you by about 8 o'clock, okay? So let's get this fixed. Now, you need to put yourself on that, okay? Wherever you're doing it. Yes, come here. I love you. Yeah. Buck up, Bucky. <laughs> that's off. That's good. That's your nice. You're looking okay. Okay, good. Okay. 
Okay, maybe what I'll do is I'll call you in a few minutes or so. I don't know what's wrong with it. I think I just ripped this open. Maybe I didn't, thank God. Okay, one, two, two, three, four. I am, I, I, because I'm just from upstairs where you, two, down, so it's like I just, and I'm carrying this thing between. So it's all kind of right there, and here, have a banana anyway, but don't come through there. Okay, oh, okay, here. Okay, you have to get bloody well get better, because I just put new tires on the trike. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to talk to you on there. They were 99. Anyhow. That's what we've been riding on. And there's another miracle, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And Peter got them in, finally, because he ordered, and then they didn't come in, and then finally he was going to order again, and I said, I'll talk to you. So I asked, and I said, okay, we'll Hi. order. Hi, don't worry, we're documenting to put on Facebook so everybody gets updated. Okay, you need to do... Do an assessment for him. Oh, okay, I'll just slide back a little. How's that? Because I can keep talking. How's that? Is that okay? I gotta... Can you hear me? Move that potty. I don't know why. Oh, that's bright so that he doesn't... Oh! Yeah, okay. Here, I'm going to pull back here in a minute if I can see you. Go, go ahead. Are you recording right now? No. No, so... So then he had to, I don't know, you ended up in the hospital. This is how this all started, right? Yeah. So, just so he finally... Hospital, you oh. need to wear your mask. Thank you. So they finally got them on, and Scott did it. And I can take that thing in between where there's two semis that nobody thought they could. One of the guys over there said to me, I said, you better cite this because it got done, and then I went over to get it, because I went over to Starbucks just yet. And Scott said, we got a problem. What's our problem? He says, well, the Samuels are here with, I don't know, whatever. They're, you know, back in the... Right. So, anyway. How many temperatures do you have last time? Mm -hmm. And do you know where you are today? To watch our home. And do you have a date for me? Um, roughly July 11th. We are the 13th today. You're close. Well, don't worry. Um, I've lost track of the days, too, my friend. <laughs> I well, just have to look at my phone. It, it, it basically is. And in here, I'm not surprised. At any given moment, it feels like 5 o'clock in the evening. So. Do you have a headache at all? No. Any chest pain? No. Shortness of breath? Constant. Yeah. Does it, do you feel like you need to have a puffer or an inhaler at all? No, I'm good. Like that? Okay. It's not as bad, bad as it was this morning? Perfect. Do you, you have any nausea? No. Pain in general? No. No. Okay. Can I get you to fix some And then you can update me on whatever Joel said too. Oh, I'm not sure. Huh? It works for you. Well, I know it does. I have a thumb yeah, yeah, like I'm gonna, gonna pull maybe find you. Yeah, smile at least and we'll okay. Even then I don't have to set up the laptop to do it. Okay, uh, yeah, that's a terrible smile. You know what it is? It's the lighting in here. Yeah. Be careful, I'll turn the light on. How's that? Yeah. I'll turn it out when I go. But you know something? Yeah, I know it's stupid fluorescent. There. Look, I can see you. I'm impressed. Oh, and then you can see me. You know what I look like? Nope. Oh, well, that's that's not good. So, you're not cutting your head off, I Oops. Okay, I will leave you one of these, at least, but you don't eat it right now because we need a can. There. How's that? There we go. So I can talk to them then, but that, that is a good idea. Somebody was yeah. thinking, this idea of just coming home with it, saying, here, use this. That, that this means that, I assume somebody would show up to do training, but that, that it should be happening at night with you when you're putting it on. And or me putting it on. I, I, I don't know. That's kind of what the idea was with even the social worker. No. Well, you know, she liked that. Don't worry, the reason this is happening is because of me. I'm a warden. <laughs> okay. Goody, huh? Right. <coughs> yeah, well, we got you a 
there so far, so. No. <laughs> and I haven't loaded stuff into the van, and we're assuming your unit is working, and who knows what else. So. No. Why are you in a man a few words right now? I'm tired today. Are you? Did that thing not work well? It did seem to work well. It didn't cut off, so it kept shutting off. Well, I saw that there were two or three times and you were disconnected from your oxygen, too. Yeah. Okay. Well, does the oxygen feed into that machine, then? Yeah. Uh, okay, so then we really need some training with what's going on with the unit you've got at home and everything else. Yeah. Okay, that's... Mm. They start talking about... Attention, 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 code red, DJP, level four, northeast. Attention, attention, code red, DJP, level four, northeast. No. Attention, okay. attention, code no. red, DJP, oh, level four, northeast. Then I am so glad I parked the trike way down there. <laughs> so, the aliens are coming. And you're that. going to see lights over there, so do not look into the light, okay? That's all I'm saying. I do love not you. focus on the lights, because the aliens will be arriving soon. Um, it's a special robot, and it has UV DI rays, and she can't close the whole window. It's not harmful to you. It's you are serious. Yeah. Oh, I that thought you were. I thought you were teasing. The aliens are coming. <laughs> Getting ready for them. So just when the lights turn on, just don't focus on it. That's all. It won't harm you. Oh, okay. It kills uh, the germs. Oh, I know what you're talking. About. <laughs> and We're she's had good. good she's had good coffee, and you have yeah. it. That's right. right. Uh, <laughs> I, would, I would love the coffee. Right, a real one. Oh. Yeah. I should, shouldn't I? <laughs> I uh, well, he never want, you never want the ones that are in the bottles, so I guess I'll sit with you through this for a moment or two. And, um... I thought she was joking. <laughs> we were talking with her daughter earlier, too, so... Anyway. Hi, Snooky. Hi, dear. Your voice is really off today, too. Not bad. Oh, no, it's off. It's, it's off. been worse. Well, it has been worse, perhaps. <sighs> so if you come home, do you think during the day we will shake the vacuum up after the two little cats? Just the two? It, it, it should be okay, huh? And, and I am, I'm serious. You need to start doing something again. You can't just sit and lay around. You, I know. Yeah. Like, you know, you do your dishes, which is stand by your machine and rinse a few dishes out. Attention, please. The building emergency condition has been cleared. You may return to your normal work activities. The building emergency condition has been cleared. Oh, Jesus. You may return to your normal work activities. Jesus. Attention. Your attention, please. The building emergency condition has been cleared. You may return yeah, to your normal work activity. Yeah, this is enough to make me crazy in here. The building emergency I don't know about condition you. has been cleared. You may return to your normal work activity. First time I've heard activity. this. Huh? First time I've heard this. Well, I've heard some other stuff. I your heard, attention, uh, please. Sleeping right night and there's cold. The building there's emergency stuff. condition has been cleared. It's... You may return to your normal work activities. The building emergency condition has been cleared. You may return to your normal work activities. Stop slacking, go back to work. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure what all I'm doing right now. I haven't decided if I should go home and try to cut the lawn or do that when I go in today or what. I've got a couple of stopovers and I, I don't I don't know. Right. I haven't started ripping that room to pieces either. I, I'm just one small step at a time, I guess. So, okay. 
I love you. Love you, yeah. dear. And then there, there you are with your flowers. I, I gotta go piddle it. It's probably why we're right now. So get this so you're on here and we'll restart yeah. afterwards. Okay, come here. Okay. I love you. I love you. Too. You okay? Yeah. Your hands are cold. Well, your hands are always cold. You know that, don't yeah. you? Yeah, well, they are. So what do you need to tell me? Well, I'm committed to whatever happens next. And you're going to try this, huh? Well, I guess that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Now stop worrying about it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Stop worrying about it, because you sound freaked. I think you sound freaked. Are you freaked? I don't think so. Well, okay then. It's the, way you, it's, it's the way you're coming off with your affirmatives. So, anyway, maybe I'm reading something that you're not even aware of. Just, you're going to do okay. Yeah, I know. It's going to be okay. And I'm going to come back in. It's one o'clock. I, I could go and do the lawn now, but I would sooner wait till closer to three or four because right now it's that, yeah. it's that, bad out there. Hopefully it'll breeze up a little bit and I really should be spraying stuff too. Okay, I'm headed that away. You you may have that I guess now if you really want. Exactly. You're welcome, but I come back and I do something with the um, the bed. Okay, um, so I'll bring a sandwich or something too, okay? Yeah, okay, do you want this thing the other way or there? Do you need to come over? Okay, watch your flowers things. Well, my puffers are well, Your puffers are fine, Tim. I'm sure they're close enough. You know what? You're not a full invalid. You could lean over and reach it, couldn't you? Yeah. Well, there you go. Now, where is your buzzer thing? Because that's what your problem was last night. Where is your buzzer? That this is, this is when you get the oxygen thing. You know, it's where it goes. And, and then I'm calling the hospital saying he can't find his buzzer. And they keep tossing it to the side. Somebody does. And I don't think it's you. That one's attached to you. I, I don't I don't get it. It's on the side. Well, it's not. Uh, for a while. Tomorrow. Said she, they were going to pop up. Did they come up yet? No. Okay, they said that they're going to pop up in a little bit. So I'll ask you some questions. Okay. Um, I've got an appointment. Is that, that her? Is, no, that's right. Okay. Oh, how long? I've got an appointment i got to get to two. At uh, two? I don't know. You said he'll be up here in just a little bit, but that was Because I can always... Who's on? Which one? I probably know him. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so when we've met. But if, no, if, they said they could do the booster or the team sheet. It's going to be down the road. They have to put the well, yeah, the and if they're working on it tonight, the team's meeting will be open and I can ask questions. But if you can put a note on the file, there's a close friend from back in Alberta. She's going back to Alberta. I think she's coming in for tomorrow morning. We'll do work you know, when she. Daphne. Are we doing the signing? No. That's not? Visitors are open? Yeah, yeah, we've had the niece here as well. So, yeah, so that's that's Daphne. If you just want to make a note, and she knows where she's going, and I don't know if I'll be available. So, okay, we'll see you soon. This is 
just gonna slice them in half. says that I'm on whatever. Okay? And, and maybe they won't go goofing with it. So, I don't know if that will fix things or not. Now, do you need... There, I'll put my cell phone like it's an phone number. So you're not doing well tonight, today. Okay. Well, you were doing pretty good yesterday. What, yeah. what, what's, look at me. What's going on? I don't know. I'm not nebulizer twice. Twice? Oh, Do you think it's because of that? Is this is the home version? Yeah. Well, that's not too so bad or too bad. Here, I don't even know if you're on camera now. Let's see if you are. I'll get this fixed. Oh, well, that was fun, wasn't it? No, you're not. You're looking at me. So, you see, they, they, they really shouldn't be. Okay? It, it has to sit like... That's why you can't... No wonder you've got problems with it. There. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so if that's facing you like that, that should do it. Now I can move that down over it and maybe it won't. Is that better? Okay. Thing running. So you're there's that. that. And there's that. This is not right. good to. That, that's that's why. Oh my goodness. <coughs> so okay. I, I don't know. Then you draw the move. Well, start moving. Then you should be sitting up. up. Um, okay, and then if this is a new one, I can sign in, okay? Yeah. So try not to die today while I'm away, all right? Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I'll come over that side and give you a kiss. Let's see if I buggered this up. I bet you I just did. You know, those flowers are just about had it, haven't they? Yep. At this point. Well, we'll have to bring some more up here. There you go. Okay. Okay, I'll come over there. Hold on. And Andrew's a guy, right? It, it, that was a guy, wasn't it? No. Yeah. That's what I thought. He's not out there. I'm going to talk to him. Okay. I will talk to you then. Did you have a nice visit with Daphne? No, I'm not. Hi. I don't know if she's going. She's apparently not going to. I'm not going to hang around until last minute and then drive like a maniac down the highway. No. The traffic is horrendous. And it's all out towards. I had to run an errand. I saw that towards the mall, which makes me think there's an accident on the highway, so I'm going up the old way. So I'm going now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I talked to you at about 7.38. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chino Vente with whip and a large Vente water, please. All right, with whipped cream and a large 
Yeah, thank you. So pretty good. Not in the place. There. Thank you.
but you know it's not available right now. <coughs> so we're just so cold, refresh my soul. That's a good idea. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Oh dear God.
traveling? I don't know, he says. You know, there's something strange about motorcycles. If you ride one, you talk to people who ride one. You got one? Well, actually, my friend, I've got a lot of them. Oh. And I've ridden for years, but... I've got a 1945 Harley, came from Normandy. It's got a bullet hole in the tank. It's got the star on it still. See, I knew I wanted to talk to you. The American flag on it. It's all faded to hell, but I'm trying to get a carburetor for it. 1500 bucks on eBay in the States. <laughs> I can beat your story, and it's a sad one. Yeah. No, it is. It's. I got a buddy in household. I mean, everybody thinks through marriage. You know how you, you know, you get the got the roommate, the, oh, yeah. the 16th cousin through marriage, <laughs> yeah. right? Same last name, but we've ridden together for years. He's on oxygen 24/7 now, uh -huh. um, probably because of this and everything mm -hmm. else. So we shouldn't be doing it either. I quit cigarettes. Now I'm just smoking a cigar once in a while. Oh, hey, well, and um, <laughs> I figured. You know what? There's this idea, if you can get somebody on the back of a bike, they'll never die. Mm. You know? You can yep. Keep them on a bike. So I went all over Hell's Half Acre. I'm going somewhere with the punchline. Spent $3,000 and another buddy. We could have gone to Ontario. We went to Alberta and BC and up north. And yep. A quarter mile from my house, I found the trike that I need. Oh, nice. And it is a Cadillac and it's... But you know what? It's been a whole different experience with, yeah, with that the, the at this moment okay yeah. oh my god i'm not riding a motorcycle i'm riding you know like uh, i don't know a, 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 a bull with the bike you get them on the euro paint. well getting see i even looked at that whole euro thing i looked at everything man i actually did good with this because what i got it for it's a 2000 uh anniversary edition goldwing it was kept literally on a carpet by the old guy he felt sorry probably for Tim, which is why I got such the deal. So when it's all said and done, I'm way under anything um, money-wise. And it, it serves the purpose, but it's a whole different experience. Yeah. <laughs> just, My brother's got a trike. It's just, they can't even go a corner very good. You know, I took it out for a test drive, man, for the buddy. When we found I found it in Chilliwack. I said, you better come over. You know, you're going to look at it. He does mechanical, too, and he's worked on gold wings for years. And he says, well, you gotta take it for test drive. I took it around the complex, man. I didn't get past three K an hour, right? Yeah. Like, what am I doing with this thing? Yeah. Like, like so. Those, like those weird two-wheeled front things, those k and like, Well, you know, even the rider is easier because I, I tested it. But putting Tim on the back with oxygen tanks, there's no storage. Huh. So this is a problem. So we, we gotta get the trike and yeah. well, we gotta find a trike. But but this thing was just oh my gosh it was it was a miracle when I what was it, it was a few weeks back or a month ago Manfred would say to me because he lives out from me and it was like well are you ever showing up with it well yeah if I ever decide to go down the highway just, right? yeah. that was the accomplishment are you from around anyway, here anyway I am Kai oh, I am sure okay. I'll meet you again when well, I have met people here after two or three times they do the so. dog yeah, the mm. and they do the and walk whatever. their dogs and like the older ladies and oh. yeah I think and then who knows with and then the license something plate. else yeah. 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 I think yeah. it's going to yeah. hold yeah. for a little yeah. while as long as it doesn't get too hot that's, that's the worst of it so I came down to do pictures for him if he ever gets back out of hospital anyway I'm Kai I'm going to do a couple of pictures take care now but never go to Right on unceded land on Canada yeah. Day, something bad will happen. Yeah. You can tell I'm with the Indigenous community too. Um, he had a bit of a go around, we ended up in Abbey General. And uh, okay, you're on oxygen and everything. You sometimes, you know, you need to clean pants. I thought I was taking him home back to Chilliwack, you know, check out there maybe too. And so there's nothing open. I, I didn't want to go home and get his whatever. They wanted to sedate and intubate him. He's conscious. He's more than fine, right? You know, that way. I mean, he's having a go around, but he said, no, I don't want that. And I'm the legal everything. And I said, no. Yeah. And the nurse said, oh, but you know, and you could pick up a pair of pants at Value Village. It's down, you know where Value Village in the hospital yeah. is. By the time I came back, they had intubated him and sedated him. Huh. We spent, I spent four days with 
Hey, every biker I know in CMA we're praying. So he's at least alive now, but getting him back out and the damage that's been done is tricky. So who knows if I'm going anywhere yeah. this summer. Nice nice but we often did like stop you. over here. I love this park. Yeah. Isn't it just wonderful? Yeah. It's just, yeah. it's... You never know, right? Yeah. Tim smoked for years, but then again, Tim cleaned. I don't know. Tim was a drywaller for years without a mask, too. Like the whole nine yards, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, stand in the shade. Oh, that feels good. Right? Oh. Doesn't it, though? Yes. What I, I had lung cancer when I was a kid. Did you? I did. I did. Dear God, did you really? Yep, when I was a kid, it started when I was... Uh, about nine or ten. We didn't know why, but my throat would swell up oh, yeah. real bad. He wants to park in the shade. There you go. Oh, maybe not. And, uh, yeah, my throat would swell up real bad. And we didn't know why, so we'd go to the doctor and they'd say, oh, your tonsils are inflamed, but we can't take them out because they're not infected. Yeah, that was the protocol. Yeah. Right? Years. From then until I was about 16, every week it would be so bad that it would cut off my breathing and I wouldn't oh, be geez. able to breathe. Yep. And nobody knew why, and they wouldn't do anything. They sent me to a whole bunch of specialists. They couldn't figure it out. <clears throat> right? Um, and then when I was 16, I went to a dentist's appointment, and my dentist was like, you can't, you can't, I can't do anything for you. Go. I'm writing you a note. Go get those removed right now. So they removed my tonsils, and one of them was about the size of a tomato. Oh, and Jesus. And it was torn at the back, and it had, uh, a tumor in it and then the other one had a tumor that descended down so it was about yay big down my throat and then I had 17 bronchial esophageal tumors metastatic tumors all the way down that nobody the had checked nope yeah, uh, oh I know he wants to park there too or, there we go oh hang on you can get in there past me door I know you can this is to cool the van off while it Here, we get uh, and we'll go we'll go up that away. And then we'll I'll head over there too. This is just beautiful. Wow. Wow, she's so over the wall. Oh. oh. Yeah, I was gonna pull out a chair, but I'll just sit on the grass someplace. That's a good idea. It's... Oh. I know you told me your name. I am Firstly. I knew that. You know, see, that's the weirdest part of this. I um, I say this in my own defense. I used to work with sex offenders. I used to do all sorts of things. Nothing rattles me. And I've done this walk with other people. I've done it with them. I did it with a dear friend. I never thought I'd do it with him. I suppose if anybody is at this point in this life journey trained to be the warden with him, it's me, but you know, I never thought I would do it again. And I guess that's where it's... Because every time you tell yourself you won't. <sighs> I'm doing it. 
and it's it's that that I mean it's it's not even a, I don't know that whole thing about in control. I actually don't even at this moment know what day it is. They said to him today. So I keep an open teams meeting at home because otherwise he has having fun. Listen, you get tubes all over you, and they boarded his hands when he had IVs. How do you hold, how are you gonna hold a phone? So I keep an open teams meeting there in ICU, and they've gone along with that. And the nurse comes through, and I can hear her, and she, you know, like, you know, what's your name, and you know, what day is it? It is Thursday the 14th today. You know what? If I was living in that room, I wouldn't necessarily remember it was like a Thursday or not. There's no. no. It, this is nuts. And I'm thinking to myself, what day is it? Well, it's Thursday, but it's the... I'm like, I don't even remember that. It's... Which says something. It's because you're in crisis mode. That's exactly where I am. Yeah. Yeah. Getting him to chill out, getting him home would be good. Um, this is not just for him. This is for me, too. I don't have a problem with somebody dying at home. I don't have a problem with doing palliative care. I've done doula work. But right now, it is so contrived, all of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not an easy thing to do. My late husband yeah. had really bad schizophrenia at the end. And um, the doctors decided to put him on a whole bunch of medication, which made it way worse. Because he was managing pretty good without medication, but his brother died. And then he went, I'm having trouble with loss. Can you send me to a counselor? And they gave him a whole bunch of antidepressants and sleeping medication. And, and that was shit like that. about and the it, end of that. Yeah, yeah, it went downhill real fast. And so, yeah. And after he was on the medication, it was... It was just a countdown to when it would end. And he was very abusive. Because the, he would have these long breaks from reality where he wouldn't know who I was. And he would think that I was trying to kill him. And so, defense mode, you try to kill whatever's trying to kill you. That's so, right. Lots of beatings. Lots of murder-suicide attempts. Lots of, lots of depression. Lots of anger. Lots of fear. And when you're living in crisis mode... That's, that's the biggest thing and it consumes you and you lose track of who you are and what you want and your own needs and your own well-being and what day it is and whether or not you brushed your teeth today. Yes. Right? Yeah. Like, uh, look, I'd go, I'd go weeks without brushing my hair. Well, it's the same thing with setting something down, which, like, in fact, <laughs> last week, Good God, I uh, I packed a bag with cameras, with laptop, the whole bit went to the hospital. I have been walking with that, literally, I carry an alarm clock. Like, and I say to myself, this is nuts. Because when I'm tired, if I've been sitting with him, I can go out to the van and there goes the clock. I don't carry one of them phones, right? I got a flip thing in my here. And yeah, it's just, everything is, it's like a movie. I, I could tell you the whole story of when you went down, it was bizarre. Maybe that's it. The whole thing was bizarre. I'm sure it's a story that needs to be shared somewhere along the line. He seemed fine. Real quick, the overview. A kid had probably stepped on the hose, okay, because the paramedics eventually said, yeah, there's something in this hose. It means 20 minutes without oxygen. Oh, boy. So he's going down in my lap. The parade had gone around the corner here in Abbotsford to Trithui. The moral of this is don't have this stuff and somebody dying in your lap in a parade route, okay? That's just not a good thing. Yep. And I just went screaming up to one of the blockades. They're, they're, they're still going down Trithui. 16 RCMP. A whole bunch of wet firemen. Because <laughs> they're playing with their hoses. And out of all of them, the only one who was any good was the woman my age who was traffic control. And the cops had me by the arms trying to sit me on the ground while I'm yelling about somebody dying in the van right there. It, it was just those kinds of moments all the way through. I had, um, I had, I had one of the cops during it all happening asking me for an umbrella. Oh, 
I'm not making this. You can't. You cannot even write this in a movie. I said an umbrella. We need an umbrella. It's like for what? They could have taken off their jacket. They wanted to put shade over top of his head or something. So I'm throwing the van and all the walkers into the street. And another one's going, well, you can't unload it here, but why don't you have an umbrella? Just bizarre moments. So, uh, anyway, I tell that when I tell this story, I laugh because then I don't cry. Uh, well, we're... <laughs> We're indigenous women. Our go-tos are substance abuse or humor. I mean, right? That's, uh, like that's that's how we deal with trauma. That's so why we the are night the funniest they, fucking bunch that, of aunties you will ever. The meet. night they sedated him, and I waited three hours for the social worker to confirm that I am legally whoever I am. She comes in and she starts asking questions about him. You know, the hospital shit, right? And you know, a lot, a lot, a lot. And does he cook? And I'm thinking, what is this got to do with anything? I said, well. Yeah, but, you know, lately it's been a lot of crockpots. Well, why is he using a crockpot? Well, I do the crockpot. Well, why a crockpot? We did 20 minutes of a discussion about a crockpot. And, and then the next one after that, I, I did, I was 40 minutes with her, was, well, is he driving? Well, yeah, he can drive, but he isn't a lot anymore. Well, why? Because it tires him. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, he should be driving. Well, why should he be driving? <laughs> like, it, it, it's just... The whole system is broken, is I guess where I'm going. It's ludicrous what goes on. And then we had an argument. Then, then I got mad. And I said, like, he doesn't have to drive. Well, yes, he has to be driving. I said, excuse me, this is my vehicle. It, it always has been, that, that one. And he used it for work for a long time. And then now it's sort of, it's my, I put it back in my name, because I'm the one who's driving all the time, it's cheaper. And it's full of the oxygen and whatever when we go out, right? She says, well, Who had then you should drive back. it too. Like, he got me? his back broken. I'm telling you how he was doing. And they, oh, he had riddle diabetes too. And if I'm telling you the story, okay, he was living by himself. And, <clears throat> but he broke his back, so they put him in the hospital for that. And then they decided that so they wanted to keep him for a longer the period the of time so his back right would heal and he wouldn't break it again. So they put him in a care home. And then the pandemic hit, and everything was locked down. And because at that point, I was working at a different retirement residence, and I had five vaccinations for, through my work and shit like that, just because I, I had to. And But because I was so heavily vaccinated and knew all the protocols and shit like that, they would allow me to go in there and bring food right. to all of the residents. So I was basically the grocery person, right? And uh, it it was so fucking asinine being in that situation with a whole bunch of nurses who are supposed to be looking after people. The level of care was abysmal. They focused on all the little things because they didn't have any control over the big things. So niggly little details were huge deals when they shouldn't have been. When there was big fundamental problems that nobody could address. And he ended up getting murdered by another resident who was sundowning and beat him to death with a wet floor sign. And the nurses couldn't get to him because they had somebody on a lift. So 20 minutes of them giving a person a bath while my uncle was screaming on the floor getting beaten to death. And it's like, this is the shit that happens. This is the shit that happens. And it feels like you're in some fucked up Lewis Carroll novel. Right? This is what I mean. Like, like, like walking into... There's moments that... And I'm wide awake, right? Um, saying to like myself, going, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to wake up. This has to be a dream. You know? And because it is that bizarre. All of it. guys just sedated a man and intubated him and now all this is going on and you're worried if or not he can cook <laughs> and when I had They're cancer nuts. when I was a kid the doctors told me oh you have to lose weight like let's not send the girl for fucking cancer testing or actually look at her throat or lungs well, let's when talk she about can't something breathe. that's irrelevant Let yeah 
The kid can't eat because she can't swallow food. Let's tell her to lose weight. System is, well, I'd say more than broken. It's fucked, but we know that. Listen, and the punchline, because, you know, I'm a bit of a comedian. Never go to Canada Day on unseated stolid territory. Something bad is going to happen. Should have come to the mission powwow. We were slated to do that too. And I have no, only because Tim is, you know, okay, we'll go sit in the shade. It was over along the side, you know, and it's breezy. And we'll just, we'll stop there because Grand Entry's not till one or whatnot and all that. And, or evening, that was evening, because that's the Friday. And then we were going to be there on Saturday. I did go. I put in an appearance at least and ran into a few people I know and everybody hugged me and said, don't worry. Uh, oh yeah, don't worry. No, we're gonna go do tobacco. Okay, great. Listen, I, I the running joke is, and Tim had had to go it down during the heat dome, but nobody intubated him then. And the running joke was, Tim, I never knew that this important. Like I do language work online. My God, to have people down at, at in, in Ontario down at Lake Erie here in tobacco and in Minnesota they're doing a sweat lodge and two or three people I know are at mosque and you know it's just all this stuff when you talk about you know the things that pull you forward that pulls me forward right now it's it's all the other stuff they're not just doing it for him though they're doing, they're it, doing for it for you. you they're doing it for me but they're also doing it because because why I, I really believe what do I believe Actually, one of the things I learned not that long ago, friends at home, was this idea of there's so many times we take something from somebody to give us something. Or even we accept tobacco for something. Basically, I, I started thinking about it. Renny Inkster, maybe Elder, her and I were talking. I said, you know, when I think about it over the course of so many years, how many times have I fallen down that I should have really been praying for that person or kept it going? So, you know, maybe maybe that's what it is. It's sort of that balancing out for people to yeah. Life strives for balance, right? It's Sometimes it's hard to see that because there's so much of a shit show going on. Yeah. But that's when you have to take stock all the little things. Yeah. Like this, right now. This is so cool. See, I know, and I got an alarm clock. I could go to sleep if I wanted to. <laughs> you could. It's very cushy ground. It is. It's incredible. Let's go see if they could do whatever. I'll close up my vehicle. Maybe all the flies came out. And mosquitoes. Oh, my gosh. I was down near Langley to talk to an older lady I know. And I, um, this was this last week because of Tim. Got out, had the door open, just enough to get out. And then, oh, there was a cloud, so. Oh yeah, this it's year. rough. Oh, the limousine is Jeez, I think I left them in here. I love the legs, you know, this high. I haven't been here in ages. Been in ages. Oh my goodness. I felt a little bit weird coming out to the Bible Belt wearing this vest because, honey, I love it. I love it. Oh, <laughs> slowly walk yeah. by. Yeah. Oh, she still got the stick. Oh yeah. boy. Oh boy. <sighs> it is a beautiful day, and this is a beautiful space. It is. Yes. I'm not dog his mouth off. <laughs> what a cute little mohawk. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fun. <laughs> oh, boy. You know, if I was older, I would wear orange. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Slowly walking by. Yeah. Oh, she still yeah. got the stick. Oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, it's got a wrap. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just beautiful. And then I went through a period where I would do red eyeliner. I'm sure it had something to do with the movie The Crow. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, 
slowly walk by. Yeah. Oh, she stood at the stick. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. I worked at the Association for First Nations Women. Yes. And uh, I also started my own Bannock company called The Traveling Bannock. My buddy's uh, rap group won a Juno Award, so I got to <laughs> travel around with the Snotty Nose Res Kids. Oh, wow. Been doing a bunch of powwows and concerts. Oh, good stuff. Oh, yeah. good. <laughs> slowly walk by. Yeah. Oh, she stood at the stick. Oh, yeah. boy. Oh, boy. <laughs>
and you report to him, go to war. It's a pretty cool scene in the movie, but it just makes you realize how badly he wanted it. How offended his pride was. Yeah. This brings me to the first. Yeah, he's working there. Hi. I'm on here too. Hello. This over and I'll see what he's close to. Yeah, Move your bum. You I'll hide right there. He makes noises and everything there. Okay, so you're feeling a little better. Oh, that's a start. Here she is. She's a good boy. I don't feel well. How much I do know? Oh, right now. Joel was in this morning. Yeah, hey, so how was Joel? What did he have I'm to say? What did he have to say? He says we're getting me transferred. What? He's going to get me transferred up to the ward. Up to the ward? Yeah. Whether it's today or tomorrow, he doesn't know. Okay, and then you'll have a day or two there. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let's get this. Let's see. This is one, two. Oh, hold on. I'm working on. Oh, jeez. Okay, ready? Try to wave. Oh, with the bat, with the wonky finger. Use your other hand. Okay, there, there you go. That's better. Oh, Lord. There, I'll try again. See, this is not reading properly any, lately either. Okay, ready? Okay. Hold on, there. Oh, one more. I, I, I should turn the light on. I turn the light on. At least there's a light on. Oh, okay. Oh, dear God. Okay, so I'm not going to stay very long because I brought some sandwich there. Do you want it over here? Why don't I put it over here? Because that's what you eat off of, isn't it? Yeah. That one. Okay, I'll get it over this way. Hold on. Let's see first. Let's try not to drop the camera, okay? <coughs> There's that. There's that. This is just garbage to eat, is that it? Yeah. Did you eat the orange? You didn't finish the hamburger, you didn't finish it? Not gonna finish it. I might have stayed longer, Tim, but I'm going home to clean this, my arms up. I've got toilet paper on me because of, I've been bleeding so much. Pretty cool, huh? This hurts like a little bit of Jesus right now. So I have to. I set him off. I had to grab him and put him in his cage. He is Good. I wish I did right now. I don't know what time. Okay, there we are. What are you watching? Riverdale. Okay, Who? Riverdale. Riverdale. It's a series. Oh. Um, with Archie. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay, so that's good. You're up doing something for a change. Okay. Leave your team's okay. meeting running. Mm -hmm. You didn't close it off. Well, then I can always sign in if in, in, in travels. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know if I'm going to the drum circle is supposed to play for closing over at Mission tonight at 6, and I don't know if I can go that late. But I have to go in that direction, which is why it's early in the day to do this and then say it's stop over there. So, okay, come here. I love you. I love you. I got it. When are you coming home? As soon as possible. Well, I hope so. It's about time. How, you haven't heard from the social worker yet? No. Oh, well, I, I don't. She's, what did you? Probably next week. Well, you know that really great idea. Oh, wait a minute, that's a bad shot. That really great idea of, oh, they'll talk to us Saturday. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't be thinking so. Probably not. Okay. Okay, so, but you may end up in a ward by this weekend, yeah. so that, that's a start. Oh, no. Oh, no.
Okay, I've got to go fix my pants yet, too. Oh, dear. It's just an ongoing whatever. And, and I really wish you were home. Mm -hmm. If you were home rested, I, I wouldn't... I, I there would feel like there was more continuity with everything yeah. else that's going on. You know, we'd be doing our regular routine. And if you can get out of here, that's what a few people have said. You know, let get him out of there and be me I better get some pictures of us. Oh, well, these guys look at me. I'm going to go check it. They're going to do Glenville. Like, definitely. Okay, she may be in today. I'll okay. tell you how to go. Okay. okay. Already, Twinkie. Let's put this in here. Oh my god. Excuse me. Right? Oh. Oh. Here. Oh, sit down in your chair. No, no, I was lying down. Oh, were you? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's fine. Hi, Gracie. Oh, I know, and the mosquitoes out there are unreal. Oh. Well, the, the park... The park has been, you know, closed off. Yeah, I saw, yeah, coming yeah. in, I saw it open. So I, I thought I'll stop back. for 30 seconds and it, they just descended on me. They come in your car, they're, they're just, they're in the house. Collins is you know, on the floor in there. Oh. I, I just, I had a cup of tea and I just lay down and I must have gone right to sleep. I just, I had laser surgery and they did my, took a little lump out of my arm. Yeah. And uh, I've just sort of been thinking, you yeah, I have no energy at all. So maybe I'll just take these days to try to catch up on some sleep or something. That's a good idea. Something, you're not doing anything outside. 
Oh, oh not is now. Is still in ICU? Is this a sort of, is he, is it, uh, I mean, that's serious. Okay, the story goes, and Pam, if I told you the story the way it is, you'd think I was making it up. Maybe if you want to hear it, it's, it's bizarre. So, on Canada Day, I just said, well, what are we going to do? So we went over the... I, it must have happened a couple of days after I saw you. That's you when it happened, it. yeah. That day. And we went to the parade the day before, and the day before that we'd been out on the trike in the afternoon. It isn't like... I mean, he isn't doing well, but he isn't dying. Yeah. No, so he, he well. He was as, as low as I've seen him. Yeah. He was uncomfortable, let's put it He's that been way. uncomfortable. So he had a bit of a go-around there. I think... A kid stepped on his hose, so that means 20 minutes without oxygen. Because I said, is that working? And he says, oh, yeah, and I should have checked it. And the parade went around. We were over by the Canadian Tire. We were in the shade. Everybody's talking. We had the lawn chairs. I'm from here. This to is in Chilliwack? No, in, in Abbotsford, oh, the gosh. Abbotsford Parade. Okay. So the parade went around the corner to Trithui. And I said, well, come on, let me get in the van. Caught him in the van. And he, he sort of got loopy. You know, by the time I'm out of the parking lot, he's collapsing in my lap. Slumping. Yo, I was, I figured he was going. I mean, that, that was my sense. So the moral of the story is, do not have this happen during a parade. And I thought, how am I going to get to the hospital? So I went screaming around the streets, you know, to a blockade on Trathui. And this is, the, if I, I tell the story this way, because otherwise I'll cry if I just tell you the paramedics came and what happened. And I came up to the thing, and I got out, and the parade, there's, I swear, 16 RCMP doing their march, you know. And um, firemen hosing each other down with water, young, good-looking ones. And I ripped out of, my, out of the van, yelling, I need help, right? I got somebody dying, because I was getting, like, he'd stopped breathing. And there's no extra hose, and hey, here's the worst of it. I had the RCMP wanting me to sit on the ground and calm me down, and I'm going, somebody's dying. <coughs> somebody's dying. The only one who knows anything is the traffic control woman who's in our age group. She said, what, what? I said, in the van, in the van. So she hauled him out. The firemen all and arrived. Was he just stepped down? He was basically unconscious and not breathing well. They, they You know, they, they managed to get, because they had the fire truck, they got more oxygen on. Is this part of the parade or during? Or? Yeah, this is part of that Abbey Canada Day, everybody, you know. Oh, God. Yeah. So they had oxygen tanks. See, that's how I almost am certain it was his own hose. Because he started to come to, like, I mean, he starts breathing again. He's, But he's not too good. And they called the paramedics. And while we were sitting in the ambulance, he comes around. And the paramedics said, well, let's go to Abbey General and get you checked out. So while we were there, then they want to run all the tests, you know, one that they do. And because of everything that had gone on, okay, so, you know, like when he lost consciousness, he peed his pants. And I don't have clean pants. And the other moral of the story, don't have this happen on Canada Day. There's no laundromat open. Because I thought I was taking him home. You know, we're going to run the tests, and then, you know, you can get going, and maybe if you need to go to Chilliwack or... The nurse said to me, she says, no, no, but Value Village is open. When I left, they were talking about sedate, to him and me, sedating him and intubating him. And he said, no. And oh. I said, no. And the doctor, I said, you know, I'm his legal everything. He says, where's your paperwork? Oh. Well, now, Pam, how many people take that to a Canada Day parade, right? Mm -hmm. And I said, I'll go to Chilliwack and get it. And I said... I'm going to go get him pants. Oh, okay, well, you know, whatever. When I came back, guess what they'd done? And they claimed that they couldn't rouse him properly. But I think, see, if Tim has a nap, goes to sleep, he's like, you got to really yell and, you know, come on, wake up, wake up. Uh -huh. So the next thing I knew, uh, I was there, and I had to go get my paperwork. They talked about transferring him to Surrey Memorial. I was beside myself. And he it, was in Abbotsford Hospital. He was in Abbotsford. So and I you got, had to go up to Chilliwack to get the papers. I went back. I got the paperwork. I talked to CMA buddies. Uh, one of our friends, he said, you get that stuff there fast and you just stand your ground. Manfred almost came with me. 
and I got there and then they wanted me to see the social worker so I was there for three hours Pam well he's laying there waiting for the hospital transfer and I mean he's in a room with the window I can see him and it is not pretty and the whole bit she finally shows up the system is crazy Pam she says to me, she says, oh, yes, okay, and you're this and you're that. And she says, but I have some questions to ask about him. Okay, fine. She says, does he cook? I said, what? Yeah, that's... <laughs> I, I really feel like I was in a... Like, it was, it's, it was like a nightmare. And I said, what do you mean, cook? Well, does he cook? Well, yeah, I guess so. Um, what's this got to do with anything? So then she has a big discussion for 20 minutes that we use a crock pot. And he should be cooking. And then she says, but, but he's not driving. Is he driving? And I said, well, he hasn't lost his license, but I usually drive anymore. Why? Well, it tires him. That's a good enough reason. The man's unconscious and going to die because they've intubated him. And uh, she says, well, he has to drive. He should be driving. I said, it's my vehicle. She says, well, you have to let him drive. So then we argued about that. <laughs> why was she, why was, that's weird. She was a social worker. Uh, a social worker. So, all well and good. She finally says, okay, she's got copies of the paperwork. Hospital transfer got there, and they were both women, and they said, no, 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 go home, call Surrey Memorial. We will be there in 40 minutes, and, and then they'll, you know, I would be going out there as soon as possible. And why were they sending him to Surrey? Because they said they couldn't keep him in Abbotsford. Why not to Chilliwa? They said that they didn't have the facilities for him either. But that's not the best of it. I went home, and by the time, and remember, it's Canada Day. So the traffic, even at, I mean, it's, it's 11, 12 o'clock, was horrendous. I took back roads, still traffic. I got in close to midnight. I got the cats settled. I got on Facebook and I replied to the guys that, you know, knew what was going on, the CMA buddies. And I thought, should I call yet? And I really was kind of calming myself down. About 1 o'clock in the morning, I call, and Surrey Memorial tell me they don't have him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I said, what do you mean you don't have him? Well, we don't know. You better call Abby. I called Abby. Abby says to me, we don't have him. Oh. He's in an ambulance somewhere. Four o'clock in the somewhere. four o'clock and and I just kept calling around back and forth. I called all over the hospitals. Once somebody oh where was it? it? Wasn't Surrey? I think it was Langley. I don't remember. Somebody said, well, let's put it through on the whatever you know to see where he may have ended up. And they said, well, he's not he's not in any of them. But whoever I talked to was Seattle. smart enough, and they said, you so know what I did may have happened. And it, Guess what? There's a he's been, in Abby, and they had decided something. to keep him. Call Surrey again, and call and Abby, and go straight to even gone anywhere. Call, so, um, the ICU. My at first, Abby. or emergency. Thirty-six hours, Pam, because um, you're getting my side of it too. I'm, I'm like this. My first thirty-six hours, I did not sleep. I went out there, and then, like there are, there's some good moments in this story, I think. So I went out there. And the doctor in question in ICU looked at me and said, I know we should not have intubated and put him under, but we did. And we know you said no, and he said no, but we did. I guess we're going to work through it now. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. He said, and I said, well, you know, can you start to bring him out of it? He says, we've got less than, um, so he danced around, he said, less than a 50% chance. Oh, and, my goodness. How dare they? Really well, this is what I mean by uh, the, the system is just a mess. So he was two, three days, something like that, under. And then one nurse said to me, she said, I'm going to try to bring him out. She did. And during this time, Pam, everybody was praying. People are in sweat lodge. I mean, it's like, you know, the whole bit and, and pulling for him. He came out of it. But then they put him in the acute care. Then they decided they couldn't get his CO2 levels under control. Then they decided that they were going to keep him in Abbey. They nearly killed him. They, had, they nearly killed him. They had him there three days. They wouldn't send him to Chilliwack. Um, I don't know how many times I went back and forth, but I was, I'm about 800 and some dollars worth in gas. 
um, just back and forth, back and forth. So the next thing to pray for, and everybody goes to Sweat Lodge, is get him to Chilliwack. Listen, I'm just going to be pragmatic. If he's going to die, please die at home, yeah. you know. And they said to me, in fact, the CMA, the writers, you know, I mean, you've got some church background, so do I, whatever. They stood in Tim Horton's parking lot and had a prayer meeting. And I went back to the hospital and I said, you know, what about this? And they said, nope, we're not sending him. And I got a phone call the next morning that said, can you come out here? And I said, you know, you know what you think, right? And they said, no, we want you to pick up a couple of things because I had taken a laptop so we could at least talk on like a Zoom meeting a little bit or he could, you know, I could talk to him. Pick it up because we're transferring him. So there's this another miracle. Uh. So now he's in Chilliwack and he's been there for the last week or more. And they are working on getting him a... It's not the sleep apnea machine, but it's like it because he will have to use that at night. So he's stuck there until that comes through. But they're fairly common. I have a couple of friends using that. That are using, well, yeah. I think I think that a lot, like there's sleep apnea and then there's the BiPAP. Yeah. So they're both similar. So he, he she uses it at night, I think. That's what Tim has to do too. Uh -huh. So uh, he's still on ICU because they've only got really the one, which is the big thing, their big high-tech one. So until they get one in, he can't come home anyway. So he's stuck there. Well, he's, he's safe and, and cared for and uh, being fed and everything else. Um, is, he, is he... Emotionally, uh, he's not doing good, Pam. Okay. Yeah, I was just saying, is he feeling up or down? Does, he, does he feel like he's getting better, or does he feel like he's going downhill? Well, I, I mean, we've had the family meetings with the doctor and brought a friend in, and this idea of, you know, if this happens again, what do you want to do? Do you want us to, well, obviously not intubate. You've had the end-of-life talk. That's, yeah. I, went, I mean, I actually went with my other son. Um, yeah, I know he's just doing all the cross-country. <laughs> and, uh, he probably is quite like to be a passenger. Mm -hmm. Because when you're driving, you sometimes you know, don't get a chance to sort of lounge To look, and look yeah. And thing. even if you go up through towards Mission and then yeah. come back out yeah, around the other... That's yeah, that's exactly what I thought. I thought yeah. I'd go over the bridge here right in Langley uh, to Haney, Maple Ridge, and... And you get a feel for the, 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 the land, that's right. Oh, I need another Gracie picture. I'll share them with Tim, too. Keeping, keeping, keeping his, his, his spirits up is part of it, I guess. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what I can... Does, what does he read? Maybe anything. You see that book there? That I have to say that is the most hilarious thing. This? Have you seen it? It's, it's just blocked. Is it? Yes. I'll tell you. Um, oh. <laughs> but you, there is, and each dog has got a story. Oh. But each do and a name. I'm going to put the light on. Just oh, good gonna, idea. Okay. You can bring a couple of them. Because oh. it, might, it, it might tickle him. I mean, he might think she's completely mad. But Oh, you know, I think it would. <laughs> I think it would. Oh, this is quite something. The names on there. I mean, they're <laughs> wonderful. And um, it's been around a long time, but it really... No. Oh. Sort of, you know. Wow. What does he usually read? Probably anything. And right See, now... Jimmy only used to read westerns. He, I mean, See, right now, it. I'll tell you what, anything. Is, is where it's at because, you know, he's in a room that's basically this size, full of a bunch of machines. There is a little dinky window up in the corner that's this big that he can't see out. There's wood glass here to the, towards the nurse's station. They close the goddamn curtains and he's all in there all by himself. And I, I've really sort of had go-arounds with some of them as to why he has a laptop with this well, I say Teams meeting, but it's like Zoom, an open meeting. You know, oh, well, we don't like this because it's patient confidentiality. Yeah, well, he wants it on so he can talk to me because, you know, they had his hands full of tubes, so they put, because they kept, his, he's fragile, they boarded his hands 
so he couldn't really even use his phone. Uh, um, which doesn't mean that he's incapacitated up here. I think they're, you know, they're not very positive. About they're, it. they're really not. So. So you want me to take this one to him? Yeah. Okay, I, I will do that. Thank you. I will do that. It's it's a it's a it's a precious book, you know. I wouldn't want the nurses to just snatch it away no. from you or something like that. No, no, I have names on everything. <laughs> <laughs> they they I probably mean, think I'm nuts with every I literally everything. I, I well, the thing is, I thought it would uh, make him smile. I would like to same. see him smile. I want him to look through there and tell me who what is his what is his favorite dog. Good idea. He knows I love dogs. And uh, I know he loves cats, and I'm sure there's a book like that on cats. Oh, it is. It's wonderful. But the names of them are so Are just amazing. great, aren't they? Oh, yeah. wow. There's a whippet in there. And oh, they're just wonderful. Well, it'll give us something to smile about, too. And that's something you can look at together. Yeah. Or you could read out. You know, you could show them the picture and then read out. And read it for the, them, the, yeah. the, the description. Oh, well, yeah. Pam, I'm going to get rolling. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. seeing me today. And, oh, plate. dear she yeah. is. Dear she is. Hold on. There's, there's, there's Gracie. Oh, there's Gracie. Oh, oh dear she is. Yes. I, I think she poses for pictures. <laughs> oh, my friends. Feels We're working on getting him out of bad. there, and we'll see yeah, him well, again together yet. Tell him to kick butt. I, mm -hmm. I think there is some of that. In fact, they really diddled around with everything until, because I kept asking, he would say, well, I, I would say, well, what did they say? I don't know. So I would go and ask the nurses, and then they tell you whatever story, and I finally looked at um, a friend of mine said, she says, no. She says, you take in a piece of paper, if you have, because remember his hands were boarded, he didn't print. Mm -hmm. You write down. Are they open now? Can yeah, he's got yeah. them off. You print down, I want a meeting to discuss what is going on. Lot, a lot, a lot, and have like me present and or maybe mailing. You print it out, sign it. Boy, I tell you, talk about things suddenly happen. Did it? Oh, yeah, yeah, within the hour and a half. And I sent it into a nurse, and the next thing I this know. This was at Dallasford. No, this is in Chilliwack. Oh, Chilliwack. And I was out to do a workshop. I had to uh, accompany out at Seabird, my mentor. Phone's ringing. Hi, this is so-and-so at Chilliwack General, and Tim wants a meeting with... Oh, I can't believe that you have to go that far, though. I know. This is just... Oh. Well, he'll like the book. Oh, thank you so much. Gracie, you stay in. There's mosquitoes. Oh, look, it almost is sunny out there. Yeah, I know, I thought it'd be nice. Oh. Well, safe drive. I will, I will. I will do. I want to know which, which is this I will, I will, I will, I will. Okay. Okay, take Bye. care, my friend. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. We'll do you want the outside one on it? Sure. Okay, I will do. No, no, you don't have to do it. The green one? No. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Like you wouldn't believe, but that's beside the point. So just now spread your wall. There's a wedding. Congratulations. Uh, who was it? Jeremy and Tamara. The whole thing.
down. So look, it's that guy's got his pants half down. Big thing is that. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. Your sandwich yet? No. Oh, okay. Okay, so there's that. There's another book. Okay. That's from Pam. Okay. Okay. Okay, to Tim Thompson. I should have got her to sign it. Thompson from Pam A. Okay, so it has your name on it there. Okay, okay. so I'm going to sit for a minute or two and then I'm going to. Um, let's, I don't know what that is. Hi, can I turn a light on in here? Yeah. That would be a good idea. I just, yeah. how, how are you feeling? Not bad. Have you had the nebulizer on today? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's concerns me for how much they're doing that. Yeah. I move your, move, move your leg. There, we're here. I'm going in to do, hi, can you wave at least? We're, well, no, I need your hand. Hold it still because otherwise it won't just, okay, there. Um, we're going in to do I don't know what, and then we're going to watch something, and I don't know what. I, I'm going to organize for group, <laughs> and I went down to see Pam, and she thinks this is horrendous. I yeah. gave her the story. Well, I still do. I can't believe that they did what they did to you. Yeah. Because if they had not done that, Tim, I don't think he would be no. this. And I said, what gets me the most is, why couldn't they have put him on the other face mask? Why didn't I get a phone call? And that's what she said to me. She says, well, you, I, I went to Value Village. And she says, well, you weren't gone long. I said, no, and they had my, and she just, she said, they had your phone number, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Nobody called. I, I didn't miss a call that day. In fact, it was, I, I almost called when I was at Value Village, because I, I don't know, I just had this sense of, I, I don't know. And and I told you, and then I ran over next door, and I grabbed a, a, I don't know, tea, coffee, I don't know, to go. And that's when I thought, oh, um, I, you know, maybe I shouldn't be stopping for that. But but I was still only in the half hour mark. So, anyway, so, yeah, she's was kind of overwhelmed with the story, too. I may go back out there next week and stop in. Just, it was, I didn't stay very long, about an hour. But she's got Colin back. And it's it, that whole Colin thing, right? Yeah. So I said, um, I got some stuff there. I'll bring a box. You know, if it's not for freezer, she can have dry stuff or dry goods. Yeah. Okay. So I love you. I love you too. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. You look tired. Yeah. Did you? You watch Netflix for a while. <laughs> And you read for a while. Yeah. Okay, that's that's a start, and so you were sitting up. Now, when are they moving you? Don't know. Nobody knows this yet. Good God. Okay, well, I'm going to go in and sew some stuff, meaning I can talk to you on that. Yeah. That meeting is good for tomorrow for group. That would be at 7 o'clock. That I'm just signing you in, so you better be on board to... Hopefully have the stupid mask off and be able to at least look over and wave yeah. at anybody. And um, did Daphne come in? No. Um, well, who knows? Have you not drank in this yet? No. Still frozen. No, it's not. You you need to get that into you, okay? And it was on a paper towel because if you don't, it will screw the most up. I don't want to come in to play tech supports again suddenly, right? Yeah, well, that's kind of how it is. So let's, oh, Tim, this is, this, oh, God. This, this is not cool, Tim, all right? By, by a long shot, it, it better be on that, or I will be having to bring you up new mugs, and that one will be $5 already. So, Thank you.
Okay, so let, let's try to keep that one there, okay? So I'm going to go in and decide that I'm just as much use there. I, I go into a panic attack here too. I, I don't know how to explain it. It, it, it looks better. It, it's, it's quite red, but the, it, the swelling's down and it's, it's not as hot. So that, that, that's a start. I'm, I'm just astounded at all of that. So, okay. Here we'll try to do a picture. You want to try to do a picture of this? Let's, let's try that. We need some more of those. I don't know if I can do this. This is always good. Hold on. Okay, ready? Try, ready. To, try to smile. That one's not bad. Try it again. Okay, I hope it worked. That's good. I don't have to look at the potty chair because invariably you turn that thing so I stare at that. It's not a lot of fun, my friend. No. Okay. So is there anything else we need to cover right now? Or right now. Can we cover it on there? And Nothing happening yet. Well, I'm going to ask. I don't know who's on with you tonight, but we will find out. Okay? I will find out and I will buzz Daphne, and I haven't been in that much lengthwise today. I, I was online until 12 something until I got here. And that's oh. that's from about 7 30 all the way through. So, Vange, and then on to the SCAP meeting. Then I came here, then I ran an errand and, and went that away because it was in Abbotsford. That's why I called Pam and said, you know, I'll just drive the little extra ways. Do you want to, can I stop in? Right. So she's sort of watched Facebook, but I, this, your story is not officially on Facebook. Not not like the story, right. right? So she said, what is going on? Well, this is what went, this is what went on. Yeah. So... Anyway, she was pretty overwhelmed too. That's why she sent that, and you should look at that. It's quite cute. It's got all these humorous dog portraits, and then they name them or something. Okay. So, okay. Okay, so here, let me give you a kiss on the forehead. I'm going to leave the light on. You shouldn't be sitting in the dark. Okay. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Do you want the book to look up for a little bit? Sure. Okay, well, let's get that out. Again. And you're supposed to figure out your favorite one and I will let her know. Okay? But you have to go through the whole thing first. Okay? Pretty cool. You're, you're going to love it. It's great. Hold on, I need pictures because I'll have to post it for her. Okay, you ready? There, she'll know what it is. Okay, I'll talk to you in a little bit, okay? Yep. Okay, I've got to go home and deal with cats and all that other silliness. Okay. Okay. Are you on with Tim today? No. Somebody is. Somebody is. I've been online workshops all day, and then I had an errand that away. But he's got the team's meeting. I'm going home to now deal with the cat, stitch something up. I'm going to sew by hand. And then I talk to him on there. So who's on tonight? Do you know who's this? I don't know who's in there right now. Oh, okay. okay. So what are you stitching up? The cat? I should. Do you want a cat? No. We have cats. Maybe you know somebody because you have his number and you'll have mine as well. So back with all the rains and things, I thought I had coons. I'm downtown Chilliwack, okay? It, it's a nightmare. So I put out the coon trap. We ended up with a mom and some kittens. So I said to Tim, okay, and, and it was, the weather was terrible and, you know, we were doing the COVID stuff again and, you know, who knows, okay? But right now, if he's coming back home, we have more machines coming, and you see how things are real complicated for his area? So I'm trying to place these things. I've been two weeks, SPCA's nothing. I, I can't believe that. Erna at the safe haven said to me, and she's not running it anymore, she said, this is their mandate to look after these kinds of issues, because I can't just send them out the door again. 
So if you know anybody, they're, they're nice. It isn't like they aren't. But I've got to reduce. Yeah, you get the idea. So anyway, I'm going, no, stitching the cat. Oh, that was the question. No, I have a shirt I'm going to fix by hand. Oh, that's better. I feel okay now then. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm only half crazy with this, you know, but you meet lots of family, and, and it is. In fact, that team's meeting. So when the team's meeting, it sort of feels because like being home. here because I run my anxiety right there. for, like, for his area and mine. And mine. You know, it's, it's like an open a phone line. Yeah. Intercom. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I'm Shirley. Shirley, it's nice to meet you. I'm Kai. Okay, I gotta go sew that and set up group for tomorrow when he'll be on it. And, okay, my arm looking at your face anyway, okay? Try to smile while you're doing that. I'm not looking at your face. Okay, there. Yeah, so what are we gonna do about you trying to? Put it on there. You do not put it on there. You just don't. Let's let's make sure it's over there, okay? Hey, wait a minute. Try to make sure you're on the camera. Come here. Okay, I'm I'm gonna talk to her and I'll tell her about your finger thing isn't working for some reason, okay? What did you say? Got it. I love you too. Okay, I'm gonna go over to Victor. I was going to go to Victor and then I'm gonna do a couple of things. It's ten o'clock. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm bringing a um, message from Tim. Can I, can I speak to the doctor? Or uh, They're just doing rounds. Okay, well, here's the thing. He's concerned. I am too. Because of where he is, even stairs with bathroom, the idea with a ward was to get him onto a ward and maybe get him built back up. Because he hasn't walked in two weeks. Okay. Yeah, like, he, we kind of need to know that he's not going to fall down the stairs, or, I mean, it isn't like I'm not there, but it, this is of concern, this is of concern, okay. yeah, our, our, because of his condition, he has lost a lot of, listen, before his sort of go around, we had spent, you know, I'm, I'm riding it, but he's on the back of a trike every afternoon, all that week, and we're at drum circle, and I mean, his movements yeah. were great. His movements are terrible now, but yeah, two weeks sitting or laying. Yeah, so that was, I mean, I was under the impression with Dr. Pugh's family doctors to get him onto a ward, let him kind of, well, he does, maybe it's just an physio, but then he's not, in, he has an area he can walk for a day or two. And I can come in and walk him and build him back up. Thank you. Because I was pretty freaked when he said this morning we're just going home. And I think so was Tim. Well, he was. I'll certainly pass that on. I'm going to be here for the next couple of days anyway. So I will make sure that that gets addressed. Yeah, because... Um, just hang on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the thing is, is he said that just now. He said, you sure you want me home? I don't know. Should I go home? Like, there's some more we'll worries. So, yeah. yeah. And you are, I'm sorry. I'm no, Sonia. I'm Sonia. Yeah. Thank you. If you can pass no that problem. on, that's, 
I sure will. Yeah, and as soon as they're finished here, I'll have a little. I, I didn't. I see. I didn't think we would see him home till maybe. I know you don't get funding on Saturday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but that day or two to come in and say, okay, we're going to do some walking. We're going to make sure you can get to the bathroom. Right. So. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. I'm, I'm headed over to Victory to take his messages, and I will be back okay. in this afternoon. Okay. okay. We'll see you then. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I, I talked to her. Okay. She's going to talk to the doctor. I do think that you need to be someplace you're not attached to. Yeah. You are. You're. 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 You're weak. Your legs are weak. So it's not just being tired. And that makes me some of the fatigue, too. And, and get you up so we can, like, I don't even know how to walk you up and down the hall in here. They said no. So if we can get you someplace, you know, and walk over to the sitting room. and Yeah. yeah. OK, can you hang in there, OK? OK. I got to run in for one. I won't make it before they shut it. OK. It's off the advice They're still in the hospital. Yes, if they get him a machine, a BiPAP, they've applied for funding. So they get it, then they will send him home. But today this stupid doctor says, we'll just send you home from the ICU. He is so weak right now. Yeah. I don't know how I'll get him up and down the stairs. I said, the plan had been to get him onto a ward. Yeah. And I've at least talked to the nurse. She said, I'll take it up with the doctor again. Oh, gee. Like, he get should up be up on fifth floor. Well, or he, he can get a little bit more care. And, or he could get a little exercise. Yeah. He's got him basically stuck in a bed oh, that's for two crazy. weeks. Yeah, no. So you can imagine. No, what I he saw is, his picture. He's so depressed. He's depressed and he's yeah. weak. And yeah. I can't even walk him because he's hooked up to this stupid machine that they don't yeah. want it off. And I said, so I said to her, I said, you know, we get the funding. Get him into a ward bed for a day or two. Like, I'll come in and walk him. Yeah. You know, yeah, get a good walk some down. Yeah, physio, right? Exactly. Because yeah. he's never, like, what am I going to do? Go get a body chair for him next to? Yeah. And and what am I going to do with him? Oh, I don't know. I'm just overwhelmed. I was going to bring the trike today and say to you, let's go for a short yeah. ride. But, you know, I don't ride that fast on the trike. <laughs> well, if that would have been okay, I would have enjoyed it. We could have gone for coffee. Okay, listen. Because maybe we can do that this afternoon, yeah. I have to practice me. I got music practice. Okay, maybe sometime this yeah. week. It's supposed to be nice. Wait a okay. minute. Okay, because I don't carry a phone, and because I'm living out of the van almost and the hospital, I now have a phone list of numbers. Oh. Am I smart? I am smart. Yeah. I said, I good. get a little thingy to put in here. Because I'll give you a call through this week. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. We'll just go and drive slowly. Well, I don't. I'm not the fastest I, driver anyway. Let's put it this way. I I try. I stay off the highway. Yeah. And the yeah. back roads. You know, it's a nice run. I don't know if you like it. You go out towards Wolf Road. You take it out past whatever. You go across uh, to whatever through Greendale. Out. I'd love to go with you. Oh yeah. I'm directionally I'm, challenged. Okay. So I it, it is. Just it's take off. it's the most beautiful. Yeah. Toodle. There's no okay. traffic. Nice. There's no I'd cars. Love a toodle and go and for it's coffee. it's like you know, 65 is it is what it's posted. So you know you do 70 or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You're still going great. faster than the highway. Yeah. Okay, calling. I don't believe this. This is just my day, isn't it? Hold on. There we go. It's probably the paper. Okay. 604. I should know all these by now. 378. Mm -mm. Yeah, I know that. 0663. See, now I know that. Yeah. I never put them in the phone. I tend I'll to... keep my phone on me more, too. See, I don't even have it on me right now. I'm really bad that Well, way. it's supposed to be nice. I'm in love with language on Monday. Yeah. And then 
like maybe by Tuesday or yeah, Tuesday afternoon is supposed to be good okay. at so all right okay sounds good because I probably have jobs till one o'clock and then I'm well see then that would be that. a beautiful time yeah. period and and um you know coffee wise out that away oh shoot yeah, man we'll find a place maybe we can find well, a coffee number, shop well, sitting number, outside number three road yeah so if you go out that route you, take, you wind it past you know Bailey Bridge yeah. number three road has big O and um Starbucks and and yeah. whatever. Yeah. Okay. Sounds, sounds good. Like a okay. Good stuff. Hey, here's the thing. Who do you know that I should? Well, I'll I'll do a ride with you because I have a team on the back. But I did. I thought I said to Kim, I should come and get you and I'll take you for a ride. <laughs> you know, like. Ah. Uh, okay. Good yeah. stuff. Okay. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Just move that stuff all around. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I did see you wearing them yesterday. Hey, he did have them on yesterday. When did you last? Uh, when did you last see them? Yesterday. So you haven't worn them at all today. No. Okay. No, I can't. I can't remember if you had them on when they were doing your hair. That I can't remember, and because because I didn't come up here yesterday evening, he, I could show you what happened to my arm, and yeah. that that's why. Do they have a whole board in the hospital looking for black glasses? Did you get those done? Holderman? Yeah. Was, was it Holderman? At the mall. At the mall? Yeah. Over there. Oh, okay. I'm just, just going to wait for our housekeeper to come back here. I hope you get a Wait a minute. Which? The one by 
by by by Joel's. By Joel's. No. That's Hodeman. No. Lost your glasses. I don't know if he can get replacements. I don't even have a boat. Can you read without them? No. Well, it's okay. You, you can't. I'm gonna read the other ones too. What not without them? Pretty neat, huh? Okay, so try those on. They're a little bit, they're not quite as heavy a frame. Okay, so let me see. Look, look at me. Okay, those actually do look better too. Here, let me do it this way. Like the, look at me and smile. There. The, the sun's behind that. There you go. Okay, those are a better frame. They were covered. I went to Hodeman's. I went to the ministries. I went to Hodeman's. I went back to them. Are you getting a picture here? Okay. You know, I tracked your care card. It's basically what we just put them in there. That's good. And I've got another sandwich here for you. And then I thought, and then we can sit. I didn't bring it up. I didn't bring the other thing up. So maybe we can, we can, um, read online. Okay. I, I find it's tricky here that you have two sandwiches. You've got to eat this one first. This one's still frozen. Okay. So there's that. And I should have brought you more flowers or something, but I didn't. There, okay, so I'm going to move over a little bit and I'll sit down for a minute. I'm exhausted, Jen. Move over. Your RVO is exhausting me. You, you do know that? No. Yeah. And a lot of the moments I don't know what to do with myself except worry. Okay. So I'm trying to keep busy. I went out and I worked on the fence a bit with the paint. And then I was interrupted with phone calls. And I have to clean my hands off. And you get the idea. And, mm. and I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow. I have to do pickup. I know that. That's first thing in the morning. And then after that, I don't know. And I Wednesday, I'm on with Vange until 11 or maybe 1 mm. all the way through again. So, you know, that that's a fair amount anyway. So... Do you think you're ever coming home? No. <coughs> oh, well, that's good. <coughs> that's good. So, I don't know if we're on, if we're on camera high. I'll look at that. We'll try to do a shot, and I'll go home and start something. I should have brought the thing up here. See if we can smile. Can we smile? It's hard to do with my arm right now. I'm, I didn't keep going. I think it was really bad because I was painting. And because it's not too bad right now. I mean, it feels icky, but here, look at that. There we are. There. Here, you try it the other way. Try it the other way. I'm sure this is good. There, there, there. Oh, there's my fingers. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and the bed is sinking. It's just, this is bizarre, this thing. So, I will, I, I need to stop and keep my wings in for 10 minutes before I go home. It's 5 o'clock, you've got supper coming. That would put me in by 5.30. And then, and then we've got reading, and I go upstairs, and we watch that for an hour or so, and I don't know. It's not quite the way, very, it's, it's not great, is it? No, okay. Well. Either is this arm. So, I don't know. Going to sitting in emergency is ridiculous. I'm not surprised that it's it's it's, it's kind of hard. This was horrendous. This, this just swelled up and turned as hard as a rock. And it's still sore. But it's it's cooled. And I've been two to three days with that cold. So, if it was just a scrape, I don't think it would do it. It's because it's what it is. Yeah. So we'll wait and we'll see where it goes by tomorrow. Okay, so you've got supper coming at least and you've got to sit up for a while. So sit up and read for a bit, okay? Okay, that's that's a good idea. Yeah, I just sat down a minute ago. What? I just sat down a minute ago. Okay, well, your hair looks better. Do you want your hair tied or not? No. Got a brush anyway, so that's the yeah. start. I'm actually, 
took a huge end for my hair up. I'm not surprised. I'm actually not expecting it over the next couple of weeks. I think because of ministries and funding. I don't know how I'm going to sustain this. I've got to get something accomplished. I was, there was all this stuff I was going to do, and, and I, I just don't seem to do my. I don't know. It's like it's. I find it's very hard to get up in the morning. I do whatever. I, I come here and then go back in, and it's already 11, 12 o'clock, and I've got two hours to start, and then go again, and it's like I, I just haven't. So. say thank you that they found your classes. I can't believe how long this went the distance with it. She did. She pulled it out and, and she says, no, she says, I don't know. She says, I check with the minister. She says, I'll just go in there. And then the security guy let me in at least and she was very nice and they've got copies of my paperwork. So I am your cover of attorney. She says, well, you will add that. No, we'll add that to the file. Okay, well that's good. Now what are you going to do with respect to his check that doesn't come in? You want some lights on it doesn't come in? You have a... Oh, the hundred dollar one. Yeah. Well, why don't you get on your phone tomorrow and try yeah. calling them? And, and where, where are the numbers? I've got the numbers. Yeah. Well, then I can get them to you in the morning and you can lay there and talk to them. And... and I can't do a three... Yes, we can do it through teams if I was sitting on teams. If I was sitting here, I could listen. Right. Okay, so then that would work. I haven't sent them anything. She didn't seem to know what to do with it. See, this is what it gets me. Well, send your paperwork. Well, to who and with regards to what? Oh, we'll figure it out. That's not good enough. No. It's not, is it? Mm -hmm. People documents floating around all over the place. So... That's for the hotel. Yeah. Well, I don't quite understand any of that. Okay, you. I'm, I'm headed down the way. Okay. I love you. Come yeah, here. Too. Okay. Hang in there. Yeah, too. Okay, take it easy. I will talk to her on the way. You've got to eat that. This would have no. to be eaten first, okay? So you eat your supper and then eat half of it. So yeah. I'm going to take the drug today. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you on The fly is a fun thing. No, I'm not going to no. eat, but I am going to. I'm going to nurse. Why would you do that? Cool. Because I know you love your bracelets, and I think it's so cool. But I wouldn't wear it. It's a little bit too heavy for me. But I love your bracelets and all your bojangles. It's beautiful. You always look so elegant in your drum and all that. I mean, you don't have to wear it if you don't want it, but if you'd like it. Do you know what salamanders mean? No. Salamanders, and keeping in mind I work with the pagan community too. Right. But when you start to look into, for instance, the aisles and the like, um, they're, they're considered one of the four elements. Oh, are they? So salamanders are with fire. Okay, okay. And oh, no, actually it. do it a thing of almost like life yes yes and interesting enough so depending on what all else you know about 
uh, I also have taught tarot and done oh, astrology okay. for forever. Okay. Uh, not that I do now, but okay. I used to. I mean, I, I mean, okay. well, we're when, 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 when my, my ex yeah, left, yeah. until I made a few bucks in the evening yeah. over tarot yeah. man down at a coffee yeah. shop. Yeah. Um, this, this actually, in an indigenous world, right. we have different totems that yes. we are born yes. with. Yes. Correspondingly, when you look at astrology and things, there are different decans, right. whether they call it, that you are associated with. This sits with mine. Oh, good. See? Wow. I pick up things and I don't know why, but they call to me. And I know that there's things that, I don't know. I just that is beautiful. I just knew when I saw that. Wow. Yeah. Just beautiful. It's, it's cool, isn't it? I like it, but it's heavy to wear for a bracelet. I just think, okay, it's meant to... Well, I'll try it on, and I'll tell you what else I may do okay. with it. Okay, it's meant to be tossed on for something. something and any, actually, it feels sweet. pretty good. Isn't that sweet? It feels pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, my you friend. You can do the slide. Walk, walk, walk. The, walk. the, the, the fly can walk? Oh, maybe. I need to know what the bug population goes through with these Oh, after those mosquitoes, you shouldn't care. I know, I know. I know. Well, she was catching mosquitoes and taking their sucker thing off. But this is my little future biologist. You know, she just might be. And yet, you know, some people would think that was all strange. She doesn't have the people. But but that's not thing, but, but that's, that's not okay. strange. That's okay. So what? It's good. It's good, and she's interested in. But who cares? And birds, and she found a little centipede. You know the black millipedes. Yeah. You know, she can't even bear to look at them. <laughs> she found it. She had a little bug jar overnight at Nini's house on Nini, and the, she, all day she went to go to the park. I said maybe tomorrow. So the next day she was all about going to the park. We went to the park because she wanted to take Millie for a ride on the swing. Millie was the motor. I love it. It wasn't about her going. I love it. It was about Millie having a ride at the park. I think that's wonderful. And the teeter totter. So we hung out at the park. She gave her bugger ride. <laughs> it was that's my Bella. That's her. That's History tells us that Albert Einstein. Mm -hmm. Flunked math. You, you, you go to your library or Google this, okay, and, and, and read, okay? Yes. He flunked math. They didn't want him in school. He was about grade five, and his mother said, I've had enough, and took him home. Okay. And taught him. And Albert Einstein is that. You know that name that, like, My God. who who changed yeah, our understanding of science? Everything. Everything. There it is. See, you can't put kids like that in boxes. The box. school system does. They do. And and I Labels. I hope it's okay that I put it this way. Now that we are doing this inclusion idea, right, right. We really haven't changed things. We just changed labels. labels. And boxes. Exactly. And I'm putting labels on people. Like, that doesn't wash with me so much. It, especially little people. Exactly. They haven't even developed who they are in this world yet. And they are doing all sorts of things. And and then on top of that, I don't know. Um, there is always the family thing. Mm -hmm. You're right, the world That's has changed. Big, uh, the family unit. Uh, the, How different what, it is now. Yeah, the, what these kids come from. Is, is unbelievable. Oh, you know, when my oldest daughter, she's 35, 34. When she was a kid, there were still, it was rare that she knew kids in her class that had broken family units. Now, it's almost abnormal to have a solid family unit with the same mom and dad and kid. You know what I mean? Like that, that intact. We've got so much diversity in family units nowadays. You can't really call a family. Like, it's not the same. It's not looking Well, now you know why I wondered when she said, well, you're not his wife. Mm. So? Like, exactly. <laughs> like, 
Excuse me, families are made up of all sorts of things. <laughs> there could be all sorts of stuff. And we're supposed to accept any, you know, the thing, I can accept anything, pretty much, I'm pretty open. But embracing is a whole different ball game. Yeah. Because I still have some old values. I'm not saying that I wouldn't have a you know, gay child or any of that in my home or love you know, them the same as I do my kids now. But when it's at school, they had Rainbow Awareness Day. She's in grade one. I don't know what it looked like, but they had to make a whole day about the diversity of the sexual identity. These are little kids. Okay, maybe they see a kid come to school with two mums. Why would a kid even know that that's two different mums in the same family unit? Unless it's talked about. You sound like a friend of mine. Um, because I, I think that we need to address things. We need to have information. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. at the same time, I don't know if we have to always... Point it out. Exactly. Like to point it out. I don't point out who I am, what my preference is. I don't need to. I don't... like. <laughs> I don't need and to. maybe it's a question I'm of simply happy. saying to kids, you know, families come in different shapes right. and forms. That's, That's right. the end of that. Yeah. So why why is bedroom business even kids' knowledge? You know what I mean? In the home or not in the home? Yes. It's like we've accepted this openness in society, whether it be video games, movies, different things that kids are exposed to, that it's not a shock. Like it. I don't even know how to express what I'm trying to say, but to me, we don't need to announce all these diversities. Let it be what it is. Let it be what it is. Let me tell you about Kids what happened. Don't question Let me tell you what things. happened. I shouldn't. I shouldn't even talk about this. I, sh I shouldn't. But hey. So last year, a couple of girls, about grade five, mm -hmm. decided that. I don't know what I did to precipitate it, but you know, girls in grade five are just girls in grade five. They're, they're they are actually where the pretty mess. girls and probably the popular oh, ones, okay. so we know what that's like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they began calling me a faggot drag queen uh, as a supervisor. Now, Holy, vicious little things, hey? Yeah. And younger ones are picking it up, oh, and dear. I wasn't fully certain how I should approach this. Right. So I went to my supervisor, administration, and he said, well, they're probably just exploring words and they don't understand them. No kidding, they don't understand them. Well, no, I bet they you didn't. they do understand them. Probably. They're just the ambitious little... And I parts. looked at my supervisor, and, and see, this is where it, it falls apart with what we're doing with mm -hmm. our planning, and I mm -hmm. said, well... I don't have a problem explaining to them that this is offensive because it is. Right. You don't go around don't calling people, people names yeah, or like doing that. that. He says, well, you need to talk about that again or, or, you know, see if they understand it. And I said, actually, what I really want to do is tell them that it is offensive. Yes, it is. Because it's offensive. for what it's worth, my friend, I'm a child of the 70s right. and I probably should have married that woman. Okay. There you go. See? And he looked at me and he said, oh, but you couldn't say things like that. Why? <laughs> you see, so so it's okay to have all this openness Why? and whatnot, yeah. but it's not okay to... They don't want to hear the real? They, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. it's good and... And I walked away from that it's experience getting... and thought, this is strange stuff. So as I said, I have a friend who has said, you right. know, this is nuts. We're teaching kids all this stuff, but then we still yeah. won't really talk about it. But then, right. what are we teaching? But then we're oh, expecting them to be all on board with tolerance. Yes. And... yes. It doesn't work. Oh, it, doesn't. it doesn't work. Like, that's what I mean. Like, why does it need to be a topic of conversation? So it's shimmying so bad. Uh, 
is explaining it to me. drinking one of those things. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll take a picture of it. Oh, jeez. So, if I do that then, take the green truck to Langley, that kind of defeats going down the highway with it. Well, maybe I'll learn to go down the highway with it, I don't know.
GM Tech Fixtures. <coughs> wow. Joyce, that's right, that was Joyce. This is Vance. This is Vance Road. something out here. Beautiful dog. Janet lives down here. I, I don't know how I'm gonna go down and turn around. Okay, this is this is this. Yes, I am. Oh, well, that's good because I'm doing flower arranging 101. Um, we have probably a leak in the pan tire. Uh, they don't think it's a nail. They filled it up again. I've ridden on it and he put it a little higher in order to determine whatever. And so I have to run that maybe tomorrow or so. And then we figure out if there is, it will be what they, it's like a seal. He said it's got to do with the weather. Mostly it's bothering them because of we are getting this kooky. It has to be kooky weather. So it, it really probably won't even cost me because they put the tires on, remember? Yep. So you're not taking pictures of me. You're staring no, at me. No, you weren't. See, I was doing flower arranging. Don't be spilling those, okay? There you go. And I brought you another sandwich. And I'm going to read for a minute. And I'm going home to do all sorts of stuff. Now. And then I've done, they had a ladies group thing briefly. And um, I'm not lousy with that. You do know that, don't you? So they, they had a ladies group briefly. And then I did Vang. And, and then I've done vehicle. And I've got to deal with vehicle again tomorrow. And I'm not cut the lawn yet and I'm, I'm overwhelmed okay are you overwhelmed have they talked about when you get this stupid machine yet according to Joel I will know before they do you would know what do you mean you will know they will let me know before the company before Joel finds out well how do they let you know I don't know I'm going to have to call Katie uh, again tomorrow, or Emma, because I don't get that. I, I, I don't understand that at all. They don't have your cell phone number, so I guess they call me. What, does, what do I do next? I don't know. Well, neither do I. So it's, okay, well, let's try this. And then I'm going to go home and try to get stuff on, I, I've got, I got Vange tomorrow, an errand, back to Vange, and after that I don't know, and then Yothmouth I'm out at for 3 o'clock. So I've got a couple of hours in between, like, but I'm not getting anything else done yeah. because I'm just driving between places, so. Okay, Ephesians 1, 1, 10, in him we have redemption according to the riches of his grace. God's lavish display. Last year I visited Niagara Falls for this time, first time and was awed by the sight and sound and overpowering sense of it all. Every minute about 200,000 tons of water plunge into the Niagara River Gorge in a thunderous ovation to the lavish, generous nature of God. The Lord could have used a lot less water, but he didn't. 
He could have made the falls lower. He built them 12 stories high, and they are what they are from the creative hand of God. People come from all over the world to see Niagara Falls. What a picture of God's grace in Jesus Christ. In him we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, which he made to abound towards us in all wisdom and prudence. The Greek word translated abound means an exceeding measure, something above ordinary. God's grace towards us is not squeezed out from an eyedropper or carefully rationed like water during a drought. His grace is Niagara of superabundance so lavish that we marvel at its display. Today, when you approach God to find grace and to help in time of need, remember how much there is grace beyond measure. Looking for his help, we seek his kind face. Lost in all of my worries, he offers his free grace. God's love is full, eternal, and free. When I am in his arms, I know he cares for me, and that's by pocket. God's heart is always overflowing with grace. I'm sorry I'm not staying longer. And I'm sorry it's, it's, I don't know, ladies group that I got a couple of lectures of, you have got to learn to just whatever, but I don't know if these people have ever done this. Yeah. And somebody else I talked to has. And I gave them a brief overview, and they said, "I get it." I said, "I'm not sleeping. I, I, I'm not. I'm. I'm just all over the place. Nothing's getting done. I get it." So the routine is totally gone. You're here. There's all that time back and forth through here. It's, and and by the time I'm done with the day, I'm so keyed up. It's, it, it's not a question of just saying, "Oh, I'll just walk away for two days." No. It, it doesn't work that way, Tim. I, I'm sorry. I. I care very much about you and, and I, I don't know how I actually find it callous for people to suggest that. You know, take some time off. Um this isn't this isn't like like work at the brewery, okay? Yeah. <laughs> well it's not. Yes, I know. Or or anything like it. It it isn't it isn't like that. Um I don't know if I'm good in September to put in for medical leave. I might be, because of you. Okay, there is that possible option. See, I'm a permanent, so the union covers some of that, which is like an extended leave with portion pay. So, I, and I may, I may go that route if, if I can get that. And that depends if you're even home at that point, because at this point, I don't really, no. And even if you are home, then you are dealing with that. And I, I mean, I will need a note from maybe Joel. Actually, any of your stuff should probably fly with it. No, actually, it, yeah, your stuff would fly because mine says the legal stuff says that. And that's all they would need. So, okay, let, let's pray, okay? And I'm going to whip home so I can do daily bread thing with you. If I can get my boots off, my feet are killing me. Okay. Uh, thank you for the day. Thank you for the people in it. Thank you for Ty. And all the good things that happened today. Thank you for the Thank you for everything. Take care of Kai, get her, get out her. Thank you for listening to us today and everything else. And um, the guys at Midas need an extra blessing. I, I think they should be prospered. Um, so that's where I went back. And, as, you know, Peter's Peter, and Peter would have looked at it and asked one of the kids, but Scott is the owner. Scott did the tree please. And I said, when do I bring back to be torqued? Tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> have you been that far? I said, I think so. I don't know. And, and he did, they, they, they did a good job when, when I had it out right after that. I know I'm stopping praying. It runs so much different. Like, it's incredible. And it's like with the van, I, and I thought the truck had a, a, a power steering fluid leak and I filled that one too, with believe it or not, the neighbor. I, it's been a really long day. No, well, the truck does not have, it may, it may have a slow leak. But, yeah, the leak is so slow because the last time I put power steering fluid in that would have been six months ago. So you see how slow it is? Yeah. Okay, so it's pretty slow. 
the other thing may be due temperature change because of its age and because of the hoses and that's why I said to Scott because Peter wouldn't see me till Friday with it and then I went and got specific power steering fluid that will run better at Horton's with it and he said just you know start with this put it in and if it don't make and I either barely turn the wheel and it was it was just grinding so he says well, I put it in and try to back it up and back it forward and Guess what? It's geared. So I also took it for a run for about 45 minutes down to Parallel Road and back. And it's still running like a dream. So it's parked on a fresh cardboard to say, who knows? And that's like with the, I, they were behind with the kid to check the back tire. But I'll tell you what, running around a 19 pressure is probably not good, is it? No. I told you that tire was slow. And I don't remember if we filled it up. I don't think we did before. I told you it was low then. And I, he said he couldn't see a nail. He said, I don't see anything right now. Roll it forward. No, it may be the seal. But they put those on. Did they do those? Big O put those on. Who put those on? Maybe it was Big O time. At, at this point, I don't even know who's done, because I couldn't get something done at Peter's, so maybe it was Big O. But the kid said, he, I said, well, is this normal? He says, oh, yeah. So it doesn't really matter who did it, right. if you okay. didn't do it. That's I, right. I don't know if it's so it was my go. Okay. So let's so finish praying. Thank, thank you God for staying on the van. Uh, and watch over Tim, and thank you for Tim. And Peter did uh, the fix the front call her again tomorrow or find out. Yes, yeah. this in Jesus' name. No, Peter put them on. Talk to Joel. Peter put them on to speak. Oh, I then I must have been doing. Al knows what I was doing. And tomorrow morning I've got Vange. Hi, wave. Hey. Oh, there, there we go. Tomorrow morning I got Vange at 7:30. So I'm hoping I don't have to come in. It it makes it. I'm sorry. Harder. Yeah. Well, it does. I mean, I'm up at five and I'm dealing with the cats and, you know, I drink a little coffee, go pee, get myself dressed, whip down here and try to run back there and, and it just, it, it's that extra half hour or 40 minutes that gets tricky. I'm going to go home and get this stuff going, okay? Ready? You want to try another one? We'll try a selfie, okay? Oh, I hate this bit. I, so, no, hold on, get this thing off. Okay, ready? What? What is wrong here? Just wait a second. Here, I'll try it again. It's working. I don't know. Okay, you broke the camera. You broke the camera, Tempo. <laughs> you did? Well, that doesn't surprise me either. Okay, the sandwich is frozen because anything I've put in the freezer so it takes a little longer. And those, you know what those are? You don't even know what they are. Hold them up. Hold them up. Yeah, I don't even know what they are. Lots of Twinkies call them yarrow here, but they're actually not. They're tansy. They have protective properties. I will tell you that. And they also are picked down the way where we do the turn in before we go over the tracks. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And they'll keep the mosquitoes away. Okay, hang okay. in there, okay? I gotta go this way if I'm gonna deal with leave that away and and keep your teams meeting on and eat your dinners and you know a lot a lot a lot on Okay, I'm happening, sorta. Okay, I love you. I'll wait. Yeah, you and it's, I, I'm not even sure how I've done everything I've done. I really don't know. But between, the, the truck was a good hour, and then 45 minutes of driving it. The other thing, and Vange, and I still got to do her typing. Okay. Night, okay. night, you were out with this. That's good. That's, that's good. Excellent. Okay. Wave. Okay.
है Um, I see you, but I'm looking for Emma or Katie, the social worker. So I don't know if you need to transfer me to. Oh, I'm sorry, Tim Thompson, and it's Kai, and I'm I'm contacting the social worker. She said to return calls or to check with her too. So. Hi, Amber. I've got ICU. Okay, you're actually talking to Kai. I'm making the call for Tim while I'm here. Um, could you have, I don't know who's on today. It's the social worker, Emmy, not Emmy, Emma or Katie, give me a call. Is it Katie? Okay. Can you have Katie give me a call on my cell phone, 604-997-3900? Um, I hadn't heard back from Emma yet, so I don't know if I've missed the call. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. thank you so much. Okay, take care. is doing this kind of stuff and on hold. No, nothing seems to happen with any of it. <laughs>
giving thanks for all the good things you provided for us this day and every day. We ask your blessing on everyone here this day, so that we may walk with the food you prepared for us. We ask your blessing on the food that's been prepared for us to give you to nourish our spirits and body. We ask you to create us to bless the hands and prepare the food this we have on our relationship. Uh, I'm back so I don't look at the back of my head, man. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. So that's the heart song that comes from uh, Elis, um up at uh, Shehalis. And, um, yeah. uh, and then people are like, well, who are the matriarchs? Where are the matriarchs coming from? Who are they? And like today, set the Oh, yeah, I'm going to return that See thing someplace. Comes. That's a good idea. That's who your matriarchs are. Very proud to say Matsqui Gymnasium was full. And we have a lot of beautiful pictures to prove it. You know, some of our matriarchs aren't here anymore. I stand here and I'm kind of a little embarrassed standing up here talking. And I got my mom sitting right there who's my matriarch. I got Amy sitting right there who's my matriarch. You know, and, and I feel very humbled standing here. But I also know I have a responsibility because these are my grandchildren. I've got Emily and Rosalie here witnessing what's happening today. And I want to encourage them to use their voice. I want to encourage them to tap into that, that talent that our elders tell us we all have, that gift. We all have a gift. We all have it. I didn't know that at 12. I didn't know I had a gift. I was too, mm, hate to use this word, but I was too beaten down at 12 to even know I had a gift. And that's what I kind of want to talk about today is the matriarchs and what role it is for us and what we need to do.
do before we leave Mother Earth? What's our legacy going to be? You know, I talk about matriarchs that aren't with us. I think about late Auntie Myra. You know, she was in our gymnasium at that matriarchs meeting. I think about her. She's from Sawali. But she has children and grandchildren in Matsqui. So very important woman in my life. So I think about everything COVID's done to us in the last little while. You know, we just got together and we just called out the matrix and we said, come on guys, we need you. We need you ladies to help us do the job, to help start the healing. And then COVID came along and locked us down for two years. And I think my son said it the best. He said, you know, over those two years, we forgot how to interact with each other. We completely forgot how to interact with each other. And I think that's true. I give that a lot of, a lot of substance because, you know, we were locked up. And when I'm locked up, I get caught up in my own thoughts. <laughs> when I'm locked up, oh gosh, I went back to when I was seven. You know, and I think that's kind of what happened to us. We were staying home for the good and the safety of our families, but it was bringing us back. And it was hurting us. And what do hurt people do when they're hurt? They hurt people. Hurt people hurt people. And I've been seeing a lot of that lately. And when I say I stand here humbly, I stand here, I don't know any better than anybody else. I just know what I feel in my heart. And I feel like our children need us. Our children need us to stand up and be those strong communities that we once were. Our children need us to be communicating and pooling together and going to the pools, going to the parks. We need to do that for our children again. We have to be able to say our future generations are worth it. I also feel a little humbled standing here in Chiquit territory and speaking. Then I reminded myself, my great grandmother comes from Chiacton. She's Flora Joe. Flora Joe Julian. So I told myself, oh, I have every right to stand here with that kind of maternal blood flowing through my veins. So I told myself I'm going to come here and I'm going to speak from the heart. I'm going to say, I'm going to put out a plea. I know we all think we're doing the best. I was a young parent too. I thought I was doing such a great job. The one thing I wasn't doing was listening. I wasn't listening to my daughter. And if I can encourage that for any young parents to just listen more listen because it's going to come back and it's going to bite us when they're older we're not listening so, and that's the stuff that's important as matriarchs that we have to do but we're also responsible for the good stuff start to get this organized i'm i'm feeling really overwhelmed with heat and and just everything okay you know how it is right I'm glad they brought you flowers up. Where are your books and stuff? In the bags. In what bags? Where did they put the bags? Well, where, where are your books and stuff? Tim, where are your books and stuff? Checking the... Walker. I didn't know there was one of those. Things. Oh, okay. So then we'll get that out too, okay? Let, let me get this organized first time. Oh, God, I don't feel I haven't gotten a whole lot of things. Where am I going to... You've only got the one plug in there. I don't know if we can use this one. I guess I could, couldn't I? Or should I run it behind the bed? No, you've got to be able to plug your your phone into this. So that's why we've got this on here, okay? So there's that. And I will fix this thing. Let's see if they tie this on. Yes, they did. There's that. 
And there's that. Oh, God. So there's that. And I'm sure we will figure this out. Can I use that one? I don't see why not. Why won't it go into the other one? It won't. Okay, well, we'll start that way. I'll find your bracelets and stuff, okay? Yep. This should be... I, I think it's safer this way. Where's, where's power on this? Is it this one? Okay. I'm, I'm just cooking. Okay, here's that. And then you've got Kleenex, you... Do or don't need this stuff. What's with the mask? Is that mine? No, it's the one I have to use. Okay, well, let's try to make things a little bit more whatever. Where is your phone charger? On top of one of the bags. Yes, please. Well, here. You are mine. I am going home to take my I'm not seeing the phone charger. And if we're going to watch that, you're in here. It shouldn't bother. You can tell them that you could don't have to. You don't turn it. Don't turn off. It, it's a. Should we start that? Yes, sir. Okay. You know that. There's that. There are oranges and some cookies over there. I won't put them all here. You have enough room to do a tray. I know you do. In fact, those would sit someplace else. I don't know where. Is what is that? Is that a what window is that? Those would sit in your window, Tim. There. Is that okay? Yeah, the other stuff would sit over here. You don't need all the other food over there, dearie. I'm sure you can get at it. It will mean exercise. So right. Yeah. Okay. I, I love you. Okay, and see, I, we could have left that there, and I could have just come in at five five thirty. And come upstairs with you. I, I've been out just all over and all over the place, and I don't feel well, and I can't decide if I should be getting this looked at yet. Swelling is down. I've got more movement, but I think this is getting bigger, and that's not cool. So I haven't decided quite where I'm at with this yet. It's it's still quite hard, and and I don't I don't know, and I haven't gone down to wherever yet. So I'm just, we're walking in faith here. Okay, you, you sound more like you, and I am thrilled you're not there. You've got a window now. It isn't like yes. a jail cell, because that's what I, it was like being in, that was like right. a crazy ward. But it's like psych. I, I think you will start to feel, and you get to get up and go to the bathroom. Can you make it to the bathroom then? Is your hose long enough? I don't think your hose is long enough. I better check with him for you. Because if you've got to go poop or something, you're going to have a problem. Yeah. Okay? That way I don't have to use a commode anymore. Well, then let's, let me talk to him again, okay? There's your mask if you need it, and I will go and mention it to him again. Okay? Okay. 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 Because you don't seem to remember to tell <laughs> them when they are here. Okay. Do it again. I, I needed you to do that, Tim. Th thank you. Th thank you. I keep wondering if I should have just bought that convertible instead. I, I, I don't know. further with the convertible. Like, I don't see taking the trike to Portland. Here, there you go. Do it again. It's, I, I needed you to do that, Tim. 
Th thank you. I should have just bought the convertible instead. I, I, I don't know. We, we would have gone further with the convertible. Like, I don't see taking the trike to Fort Langley. It, you know, it's... Right. Here, there you go. Do it again. I, I needed you to do that, too. I know. Th thank you. I should have just bought the convertible instead. I, I, I don't know. We, we would have gone further with the convertible. Like, I don't see taking the trike to Fort Langley. It, you know, it's... Right. 